in the hood. What it good be, hoping you swear to me, this your boy N-O-R-E. What up, it's DJ E-F-N. And this is Drink Champs, you happy hour. Make fun! Yeah. Yo, yo. And, and right I'm now, back. let me just tell you something. I've, we've been going through this man, this discography, and a lot of people sleep on him because they don't know he got hit after hit after hit. I've been listening to his, 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 his records for many days and many days and I'm sitting there saying when is my record with him coming up because that's how many that's how much joints he got people yeah. sleep they don't understand he's one of the most loyalist people uh, he's one of the most realist uh, uh, he's be shit I spoke to him in COVID he was ready for he was ready for verses oh oh he had oh. rhymes and bars oh I'm ready I'm still ready <laughs> he's still I'm still ready. Whoever he's wants that here. smoke. He's been out here. Yeah, I know him since 1998. He's one of the most pe best people I've ever met. He's oh, came out here. You, big bro. hits. Big uh, love. Big energy. In case you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the one, the motherfucking only. Miss yeah. Motherfucking yeah. Man. Yeah. And, and don't forget, Drink Chance Alumni. Drink Chance Alumni. Yeah, that's a regular right. over here. Right. Yeah. Now Yo, I mean, Hip Hop 50, we got to give it up. Like the Wu Syndicate, I might be Drink Champ Syndicate. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Drink Champ's La Familia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but please, I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. You know, when we when we do an interview, we get, do our, our artist playlist. Yeah. Right? So we go through the a whole artist discography. Yeah, your shit just paused. This shit just kept going. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. Like, doesn't it stop somewhere? That shit just nah. Niggas sleep on me, man. They don't try to give me my credit. It's cool. Right, right. Big homie get all the credit. <laughs> you know? Without without the goon squad with him, I don't think y'all would have known he was that real. You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember, a boss was a boss by the squad he hired. Right, you know what right, I mean? right, right. By your tree That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. No, but I, and I was trying to count them. Are you, do you have the most Jay Z features ever? Yeah, I think yes. so. They had them on. They had them up on the list, like on on Twitter a while back. Who yeah. got the most and who got the best? I got about I think about 24, 25 Damn. features with Hov. Time out, my nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because yeah. I'm, I'm watching you on TMZ the other day. I, I'm, I'm stalking you. You landed, <laughs> you landed in LA. Yeah, homie, homie pulled up on you yeah. and said, is this Myth Bleak and Jay-Z album ever going to happen? Was it an EP? Yeah, yeah. Because I have never heard heard of that. Was no, that no, no, coming? no. That was from him. That was his that was idea. A, oh, the uh, TMZ dude. Yeah, he suggested that. He made that, that up. Yeah, he That's was a good just like, I love that's that, right? That's what I said. Yeah, okay. yeah, that was a good one. Okay. He made that up right there on the spot. And I'm like, shit, I should have tried that at a hundred million, not a yeah. billy. Word. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. Yo, Hov, let me get a verse. I can hear that right now. <laughs> yo, you bugging. Pop that <laughs> yo, crack that dude, say, my nigga. Let's, yo, let's go to, let's go, let's go spend some money, you bugging. Right. Okay, but let me just be clear with you. As I'm digging into, you got like a whole album. You got a double album with him. I do. People don't give credit. I do have an album with Hov. The Dynasty oh, album. Yeah, the Dynasty yeah. album is a collaboratory album Damn. of all of us. Damn, you right. You know what I'm saying? Emil is on that as well. No, Emil ain't make the Dynasty Amil album. Emil is on the Dynasty album. <laughs> nah, she okay. ain't make the Dynasty okay. album. Freeway was the new addition on the Dynasty album. Uh, okay, yeah. All right. All right, so look, we, we, do we got the computer? All oh, right. shit, we going there. We dig. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, before yeah. the computer, can we give him a drink? Can we give him a drink? Yeah. The before crates, the computer, give, the him, a, give him a drink. The went digital. And I'm, assuming, I'm assuming there's joints that never came out that you right. got together. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, we got we got a couple joints, man. It's a joint that we did over, shout out to homie yeah. Lethal Bizzle over there in London. Okay. He had a major, major record called Pow <laughs> that me and Hove, like when we, yo, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. 
<laughs> listen, listen, the whole thing was when Blink come in here, we're gonna give him Hennessy and let's see his reaction. Yo. Guess what? It was perfect. It was perfect. Yo. That's exactly what I told you. Listen, Yo. we set him up. We said we're gonna bring him Hennessy. And we said, I said, watch Blink's loyalty. I did not just say Yo. that. That was exactly what I said. Look, that was so perfect. Yeah, of course, we yeah, got the nah. do say for you, my Yo, brother. Sure. Yo. Yeah, now we roll. Yeah, and and let's just be clear. I just seen Bleak in the Mafia Coast. Not not, not like I seen you there. You know like what I'm saying I, I spoke to you. Yeah, you, know yeah. you told me some spots. Yeah, you told me about yeah, the hundred yeah. steps. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you put yeah, me yeah. on game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie, Bleak. I, I stayed in the hotel. You and your homies rented the big boy mansion oh, yeah, type no, shit. Yeah, we tried to do it. Was my, it was my 45th. You know, I wanted to right. do it right. I didn't get to really celebrate my 40th because my right. baby girl was born. So right. I had to blend them both this time, do something different. Right. Movie star shit. Because he don't go over, over out of seas unless it's like... Uh, out like, of seas? Like overseas. <laughs> unless you don't it's, travel? Yeah, man. Yeah. This guy's bugging. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, he only go to... The, he vacation on the other side of Florida. <laughs> Yo, chill. Yeah. Ever since I had my kids, they young, so I'm just... He's playing hey, everything on this game. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Yeah, they little ones, man. I'm, I'm not going unless it's important. Uh, Real wait, important. Is vacation ever important? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not about vacation. This guy just wants to go everywhere just to go. Yeah, that's His kids are grown. It's a big difference. Yo, no, no, it is. It is, because my, my man's 21 now, so it's like I'm five. I'm in the trenches still. Yeah, you're in the trenches. Yeah, you're in the trenches. Right? You deep in there, yeah, too. man. Uh, let me just, let me just, while we here, because I just feel like some Brooklyn shit. What did you feel about his argument with Ice Cube and Biggie? It's not a comparison there. Oh, here we go, man. It's Brooklyn. Who you got? What are you thinking It's not a comparison. No, no, no. Not, not, not on some that Biggie better or Ice Cube better, but it's just like you got to give both of them they, they stamp for moving right. the wave. Like when Cube left NWA, it was like the biggest thing ever to mm. go solo, right. break away from a group and have that impact and come to the East and get all the East Coast producers. Right. Then, yeah, the bomb squad, yeah. Then when Biggie came out, it was like he, the West had the chokehold on the industry and mm. he brought it back to the east so right. you can't compare them together they had mm. two different waves that was monumental in their own right like you know what I'm saying so you on yeah your argument is not valid yeah nah that <laughs> argument was ridiculous he asked me who my favorite artist was yeah, nah. I answered it he just didn't like the answer what oh no, yeah no a true New Yorker <laughs> <laughs> yeah nah it's cool man it's a lot of favorites out there though man right. like, I just got to meet Tretch the other day man. Tretch is think, one of the illest I don't think Tretch understand how important right. yeah. my career he was like right. that boy was, was he, he was didn't have a Lock, he ain't have a lock on his chest. Nah, right? <laughs> not your chill. That's, that's nah. my nigga. You know nah, that? man. Our nigga, <laughs> yeah, Trash worked. Tribe. Like, I knew him. I seen him many years, but this is my first time really getting to meet him. And, like, you know, that Naughty by Nature run was was right. humongous, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I pay homage to all the OGs, the Kings, right. Onyx, EPMD. I mean, when I first met them, I had to let them know, listen, strictly business. Y'all niggas mm. talking You got a bucket hat on, on right game. now. That's EPMD you know shit. Right, yeah, right. You already right. know. Right. You know what I mean, when I wear the Bally's, that's my man Dana Dane. All of you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We 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 it's a lot of history there, man. Yeah. So we got the computer set up, Ross? All right, cool. Oh shit. What I we always doing wanted now? to listen, I, I got your phone number. I speak to you at least <laughs> every two weeks. I could have <laughs> asked you this direct a long time ago. <laughs> but but should, should, should the people yeah, let's show the bleak first and we show the people. I always wanted to know what the what was this footage? I know it's after Hove was performing, but Oh man, I know what footage it was. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> Yo, I Hold on. Yo, that's the Spanish one? Now y'all gotta see it when I it's the Spanish. The Spanish one. <laughs> yo, chill. Yo, they said, yo, they, they said this when Hove clipped us. <laughs> Look at my man Slice, man. Rest in peace, my G. Slice, man. Yeah. My mom's in there. You see my mom's back there. So this is Summer Jam. Yeah. So when Mike was here. But look, hold like let everybody else speak. Yeah. Oh, Zab, Zab Jr. Okay. Bobby Dad. Bobby Dad. Look at Lady. Left Zab and Bobby Dad from Left Freeway. Rack. Freeway. Look, Free ain't even have the real beard yet. Word. He ain't even, his shit ain't connect. <laughs> yo, Free ain't even, <laughs> yo, Free ain't even have the beard, Word. yo. <laughs> so, the rumor is. Hope clipped us after that. <laughs> yeah, he was like, I'm done with these niggas. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I love that narrative. I, I never wanted to correct it. I wanted to keep going. Right. It's, it, it, that, that's dope. You, I would clip me. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas is bugging, yo. Like, but nah, what it was is... Yeah, tell us what... All right, all right, for people that don't know, because obviously... 
Like sometimes I'll be like somewhere like in a burger bar and like the footage will come up or something and people would just be looking at it. They have no idea that this is Jay-Z. This is you guys performing right Summer after. Jam. Michael Jackson. Y'all bring out Michael Jackson. This is right after Michael Jackson just left. What? We just shut it down, left the stage. Mike. And you know, much respect, Ralph McDaniels, you know. Right. Hove yeah. just felt like it was nothing to say. Like, Ralph wanted to interview him, and it's like, what do you say right after you get off stage of bringing Mike up there? Mm. You feel me? And he was like, yo, y'all get ahead. Y'all do y'all thing. So, you know, that was the green light to be like, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> the fuck y'all niggas know what it is we here, baby? <laughs> Brooklyn, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that's how the video. The green light. <laughs> yeah, so it was like okay. So you know that's what that was, yeah, man. Because the more you look at the footage, he actually didn't say nothing. No. He just keeps pointing at people. Yeah, He's like, like let, let them him go. Talk. Yep, yeah, let them go. Yeah, because yeah. it was like, yo, dog, what do you say? Like, what right. do you say after that? I brought right. Mike to the hood, dog. Like. Right. Stop right. playing. And, and it was ill, that Mike situation. Yo, Mike, right. <laughs> rest in peace to the GOAT, the GOAT yeah, of the GOAT. Peace. Right. Yo, Mike came through, right? Yo, listen, if you wasn't with Hove, you had to turn around and face the wall. Wait, come on. Wait, wait. Yeah. So Mike, did, did, was it Mike who delivered that speech? Like, don't listen, look at me. His security guards came in before he came in, right? So they like this. Everybody who don't have the like the Jay Z pads, like I'm with the Not family. Not the Rockefeller with, chain. You no, could have had the Rockefeller you chain. You had to have, have that pads. Pad. Mm -hmm. Gee, they was making niggas turn up, face the wall like it was the pat down on the block. Like everybody, because Mike didn't want eye to eye contact. Nobody to look him in his eyes. I might have turned around with the permission. I don't want to look at his eyes. I don't want to look at his eyes. Down? I don't want to look at his eyes. I don't want to have that moment. Me, I, 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 I got to see Mike. So I'm looking at everybody in the hallway facing the wall like, oh, these niggas. <laughs> Is there anybody that we know that's turning around? Oh, it's a lot of people turning around. Bobby Dash. Bobby a lot Dash. Of, a lot of people. I, I, can't, I ain't going to throw a lot of people. That right there is like not even throwing you under the bus. That's like tying you to the train track. So I ain't going to do that. <laughs> so I ain't going to do that. But just know, if you wasn't immediate, you you faced that wall, homie. That, that was it. And Mike didn't want niggas looking them face to face. So when Mike came through, you know me, I'm like, I got to get a glimpse of Mike Smith in the hall. Hallway. So I'm, I'm in the hallway moving around. Mike came through with the major, uh, the C2 yeah, he been choice. Had the COVID he was mask. ready for COVID. He, yeah, he, he been, been having that. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, he, he, knew, been he knew. He was yeah. on the Asia years ago. He <laughs> knew that shit was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Word. He said, yeah, that ass. Y'all yeah. remember the first time I went? I went to uh, I think it was Singapore somewhere crazy they had the major Hello Kitty mask running right. around crazy and this is 99 right, right. and this when Hello right. Kitty I think right. just got to America because right. it's been big over right. there they've been wearing masks pollution like, all that everybody wearing right. a mask for is it something right. here I don't know so mm. right. then later on we all wear masks so here we go wow so let's get back to Mike so Mike, yeah, Mike didn't want nobody Mike looking him in his eyes he came through hey 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 everybody you know I ain't got the voice right <laughs> now but yeah, he definitely came through through waving. <laughs> he ain't even say nothing on the stage. He just came through, waved, you know, hold and showed him. He, he left. But yeah, Wait, like Mike all the security. Mike came that summer jam? Nope. He just walked through and said, yeah. damn, I didn't Yo, meet that. Yeah. I think we all thought he performed in our okay. minds. The Queens and me. The performed queens. what? If he performed, I don't know. people would have died. Right. Like, yeah, would have been like, like <laughs> he performed. Was Asia. Yeah, like, he would have just, he would have fainted, B. <laughs> Mike performed. You know, give, how you give Mike a mic? The <laughs> The Queens in me does not want to ask this question, but I got to ask this question. What's up? Yo, was that on, the same? I love do say, but yeah. you got to mix this. It's too early, Okay, girl. all right. Nah. I don't want to be under the table, baby girl. <laughs> right, you right. know what I'm saying? But did, is that the same summer jam where he said... You don't want it with Hove? No, nope. you out of ballerina. The I got the pictures. Thing? I seen you. It might be. I think so. This is I think unfair. So. Yeah, I think so. I think it was. Hov wants some bullshit. That's the go he. That's that's the monster he is, man. You gotta remember the era they came up in, man. Like uh -huh. that eighties era, you had to be a monster, man. Like mm -hmm. I was telling, <laughs> yeah, I was telling my man the other day, man. I think that that late eighties, early nineties era might have been the hardest era to come up in as a yeah. as a little musician. Nigga. 
Oh, no, it's a little nigga in the streets. Anything, say, yeah, streets trying to do anything uh-huh, because right. it was no beliefs for nothing. Remember, everybody was doing bad. When we got on yeah. and got deals, bro, yeah. saying you was going to be a rapper was just equivalent to telling niggas you going to the NBA. Niggas like, yeah. man, whatever. Yeah. You're right. Like, fuck out. You never getting on. You're going to be right here with me. Right. <laughs> Damn. Damn, niggas was haters back then. Like, You're right. Straight up. Yeah. Like, today, you telling me you're getting a deal, nigga. Like, okay, I'll see you on BET tonight. Right. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> word. Word. Like, it's that easy. Back then, that's, you had to be an animal. So, when you come from that, all you know is animal instincts. I'm going right. to kill you, and I'm going to kill you more. Right. Um, I'm going to bounce around for a little while. You know, it's, some of this is going to make sense, some of it's not. You still need to take a sip of do say we watch. No, but I, I need a chase. Okay, okay, okay you can't Yeah. 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 Some and cranberry Paul. juice or some, okay. some pineapple, something, you know? Some lemonade, you know what so, I mean? So, yeah, yeah, no, no problem, no problem. You know what I mean? So, they're here? Yeah. Yo, so um, <clears throat> we just had Irv on, right? Yo, chill. <laughs> Shout out Irv Gotti, man. Yeah. That's my guy, man. The Crack House Studio. Yeah. He ain't lie about that. It was no, one of the house? best. Yeah. Studi- one of the best studios. Yeah, right downstairs. That was the uh, the um the, the wing spot. Yeah. I used to go there and get yeah. wings. It definitely um, was one of the best spots. I agree. But he said he said that Dane was alone. I know. Huh? I know. He said Dane was alone for the ride. Weren't we all? Mm. Right? Weren't we all? Like. What did anybody really have to do? Dang, don't get it wrong. Dang wasn't around for the ride. Neither was Biggs. Everybody played a major, major role. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I came around, it was Clark Kent and right. Hove running around in the studio. Right. And then I met Dame uptown with Original Flavor, Tone Hooker mm. and Ski and them. You know, mm. then Ski making the beats right. and all that. Mm. And it was just the crew. So every Dame had the industry, the knowledge of being a manager. Hove was straight from the block. Right. He didn't know nothing about the industry. Clark was the producer. Ski was an artist, which Dame managed the Original Flavor. Right. And when Gotti tell y'all, yeah, I was JDJ, he was more than a DJ, bro. He put the whole Def Jam play together. Right. Without Irv, it wouldn't be no Rockefeller Def So you're saying everybody's important. Everybody, Everybody man. Like, peace. to get, like, like Ye say, man, no one man can have all that power. Any successful person in this world is definitely a couple people that paved the right. way with them, that helped them along the way, man. You can't do it alone, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no way. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. Okay, hey. now. Bleak, we upgraded. We got, we got big game, bro. <laughs> We good now. Better? We good now. <laughs> we good now. So, all right, let's 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 let's. Like I said, I'm bouncing around a little bit. This is a famous clip, right? Where Dame is on a, a bus, and I believe he's talking to Lenny S, and I believe he's talking to um, Skane Dollar, and I think you're on the bus. I'm not quite yeah, sure. This, this clue bus. This clue bus. Hard in that life when they ain't have no lights. And he's saying that if one guy is, is 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 the head of the crew, it's not really sufficient. It should be everyone who has who has it. Yes. Do you think that th- is that that came into fruition? Definitely. Yeah. Like look at look at Rock Nation, man. Yeah. Everybody is a, is a boss in his own right. There's no right. one boss. You got you got Emery. You got Tata. You got Daz. Right. You got Juan. You got right. Jay Brown. Right. Everybody play a major role in they in they section and do what they do. Right. Know what I mean, and nobody pocket watching. Everybody right. bosses. Everybody through the roof, chewing beyond chewing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like so, and and that's the way it's supposed to go. That's how you build a crew, right? That's how you. That's right. a boss, like Ross say. A boss right. is one who guarantee we gonna eat. Right, and it, 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 so you believe that it, it, it came, it worked out like that. Hell yeah, man! Like I always knew, man. Since a kid, I always knew Hove was different, man. Just right. just off the way he lived, the shit he drove, the how he talked, like how he how he dressed. I just knew he was like, goddamn, we fucked up out here. Niggas got fly traps hanging from the ceiling. How the fuck this thing got an AC in his crib? What are you doing? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga got Centronella candles. Got a fucking fly trap on the ceiling. Where you get that candle from, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the AC that hung out in the window? Yeah. Okay, that While AC, we had yeah. the fan that you had to throw water on in the summer, you know, <laughs> spray that water bottle on it, get that little extra uh-huh. breeze on it, uh-huh. baby, you know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And Hove just was different. AC, like, big white marble, everything in the room white. Like, right. he just always was a different breed. I just wish, like, you know how you tell your son as a kid, you like, yo, this ain't going to be great. But uh-huh. you don't know it's going to actually happen. If right. somebody would have told me, yo, Bleak, you really going to, I'd have wrote a whole plan, but I'd have, I'd have planned this shit a whole lot better. Right, right. You feel right. me? <laughs> right, right, right. I wouldn't have been alone right. for the ride. Right, right. <laughs> hey, straight you up. Know, one, one thing about you is, I don't care what anything happened, you, your relationship with Hov stays the same. 
Cause I don't I'm a true friend, man. We true friends like Tata, Juan, Emery, like I said, we all from it's right. real friendship. Nobody pocket watching. Right. I don't care a whole of a billionaire, I don't care you a hundred million, a, a dollar. I'ma still call you and be like, yo, what up, bitch ass nigga? You fry, yo. <laughs> that verse, that verse is whack. Like, no bullshit. That verse oh, is whack. Yo, ho, yo, yo, ho, 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 ain't sure his verse is whack in a long time. Nah, nigga. he ain't spit a verse in a long time. <laughs> And, and, so you and the, told him and that? The Hove did was yeah, I told Hove a lot of yeah. Wait, you said Hove did? It was Wait. hard. I told oh, him that was oh, hard. I, you like, I didn't have to that's tell my him that. Okay. Sometimes I tell him, yo, bro, you spazzed or yo, you ain't go hard enough. But <laughs> he definitely shits on me. If that nigga called me, like right now, Hove called me. Automatically, ain't no what up, my G, what up, my straight up, what up, bitch ass nigga, what up, you fake ass boss. <laughs> yo, <laughs> did he just find your arch? He, yo, just that's your what arch. I'm saying. He shits on me, no matter what I do. What up, yo? What you out there doing? Making no money. <laughs> yo, yo, like, you feel me? Like, that's the shit I get. So we keep it all the way real. Like this, this rap shit don't right. mean nothing. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? Like right. I told, if I knew it was going to be this, I'd have prepared, bro. All right. So right. we just keep it as regular, man. It's because neutral. everyone thinks their friend is special. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah Everyone's everybody. like, yeah, my man is the my man is the shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Yo, chill. Yeah, just think Yo, about chill. it. Just think, you know how many people are wrong? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How many people was sitting around thinking they man had the, the illest bars and But you know who you gotta think about in that respect then? Mm -hmm. That makes me respect Emery even more when you right. think of situations like that because Emery bet it all on Hov. Okay, mm -hmm. can, can you explain the Emery situation for people that don't know I, the see, everything that's on record, not listen, that's off record? Yeah, I don't know. I was young, so I don't know what part nigga played or nothing, but, but I know right. they had a going away party for Emery in Baltimore. E going to do some time. Now, I always grew up with E. Now, I'm going to tell you, let's go back, back in time. You remember they used to have this music festival in New Orleans called The Gavin? Yeah, yeah. The Gavin so, Report, right. This is when, rest in peace, Prodigy. Mob Deep just dropped Shook Ones. They debuted it. That day, that weekend, we was out there. Jay was out there promoting In My Lifetime. This before ain't no nigga, all that. So they had a, a battle out there. Like, yo, whoever win the battle win five grand. Mind you, I'm 15 years old. So Emery like, yo, you getting in that battle, bleak. So I'm like, fuck no, hell no. Like, you bugging. I think like, nigga, we ain't here to play. We ain't come here on vacation. You getting in that battle, nigga. You got put in that work. I think like, you 15 years old. Imagine going back to Marcy with five grand in your pocket. Mm. So you know me, I'm like, oh shit, he right. I gotta go get these verses together. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, sign me up. Rest in peace, Jam Master J was one of the hosts. Wow. Rivs, RZA was one of the hosts. Oh, this is good. Diddy, all of them. Uh -huh. I went up there, smoked all them niggas' boots. One to five grand. Wow. Oh, shit. Like one to five grand. Like look at that Emery. Like nigga, I owe you a stack. <laughs> you put me on. <laughs> you got so, a kickback. Now let's fast forward. Mm. Emery going away party. I'm like, mm. fuck it. I gotta be there. Mm. I, I had this green high night. I had now, no money. Do you money. remember what years this is? This probably was like 98, 97, 98. Okay, all right. All like, right. You know what I mean? I had a green Honda Accord at that time. No money. Just knew I got a full tank of gas. I could make it. Mm. I got to Baltimore. <laughs> got pulled over right down the block from the club. He towed my car right down the block from the club. Emery and all them had to come get me and all that word. They, wow. went, they went and got the car for me the next day. We went to the party and all that balled out. Mm -hmm. Then Emery went to jail. So then all that, after that, I'm like, damn, what Emery do? Like, what happened? So, you know, I start doing my research and they just like, niggas ain't do nothing. Niggas was telling, trying to bring the whole regime down or whatever. Emery said, fuck it. I take the weight for it. It's me. So like, wait, what? What? That's right. definition. That's, that's triple OG. Like, mm -hmm. I heard OGs before, but that's the definition of it. Like, right. And then you bet on your man to be, like, he gonna make sure I'm good. Mm. And not only you make sure I'm good, I'm gooder than good. <laughs> like, like right. Hove is gooder than, like, there is no good in Hove book. They think spell good with six O's. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I'm still thinking about how many O's is it good. I'm like, okay. You right. feel me? Yeah, like, four more O's. All right. All right. Like, nigga, it's good, super good. So, so, but the rumor is, right? I didn't know we're gonna just say what, what, what's on record, not anything that's on, off record. But the rumor was that he got caught with something, and he just said he like like you just said, and 
I don't think he ever got caught with nothing. I think niggas just, you know, oh. statements and told and oh. indictments came down. I don't think niggas physically got caught with any type of twerk or anything. So that was like See, the first Rico. Yeah. Wow. Excuse me. Yeah. Holy moly guacamole. Yeah, so, you know, but just to even bet on your man like that, there's niggas out here that ain't even taking two days. Niggas like, what? <laughs> two days, you gonna come get me? Right. Nah, I'm telling the night. Fuck that. He think he going to the club? <laughs> nope. I'm telling, nigga. <laughs> See, they invented shows for this shit. First 48, they like, yeah. That's really I cannot cool. watch that show. Me neither. I cannot watch it. Me neither. Is it, is it heartbreaking to see these guys is, is just sit there and break down for a fucking Sprite in the, the bag, bag of chips? <laughs> yeah. So as I see the motherfucking like, Pringles come out, I'll be like, oh, like, I hate this nigga don't win. Oh, for man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> stay, my the advice, Pringles man. get you all the time. Stay out the game, man. Stay <laughs> out the game. Goddamn but McDonald's. Like, like one of my big homies said in Chicago, one of my OGs, my man, Big Rody, man. Uh -huh. It's my dude. He always said, I don't know why these dudes do crime and scared to go to jail. Nigga, all your friends in there. <laughs> you're going to be with your people. What you scared for? Go link up. Nigga, you said you gay, right? They're your people. <laughs> Right? Oh, All your friends in there, go link up. Right. Like, Holy go shit. go lock in, baby. Holy shit. <laughs> so, don't do the crime, you can't do the time, you heard? Yeah. Bleak, let me ask you, man, because... I know how hard it is to be my friend, right? Some of my friends, like, you know, so many people get at my friends that get at me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, man. How many people called you for Beyonce tickets? Oh, my God. They know. <laughs> they know. I don't know, ho. I don't know. Yo, listen. For me to get Beyonce tickets was a problem. My wife hit me like, yo, you know, she in Philly on my birthday. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you try to send me in there for the war, baby? Like, so, you know, I ain't fucking. This wifey, I got to go. I got to hold it down. So I hit all the top dogs. I ain't going to even say no names. All, all the bosses. Say they, what, what, they don't work for Ivy Park. They be like, I don't work for Ivy no, Park. No, they ain't even say none of that. All of them said, yo, you, yo, Bleak, what, you bugging? You know you got to hit Jay. All right, so I'm yeah. like, I. I tried not to, but now I gotta hit you. <laughs> I, I got to. I tried to go around you and save it, it. but now this message gotta go to you. Like, fuck it. Yo, big homie, I need some tickets for the show. It's wifey B day. Ah, nah, niggas trying to turn me the ticket guy now. <laughs> Yo, yo, my man, I just need, I just need two tickets, you heard? I, I, that's it. He like, yo, oh, I say, I ain't even want to hit you. I don't want to bother you. I hit the whole staff. You got 400 people working in Rock Nation. I hit all, I hit about 20 of them. They told me hit you. He said they did? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, but they don't work for B. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, that's all right, cool. all say. So I'm like, all right, cool, oh, but let's get this clear, my nigga. I don't hang with B. I don't know who work for B. Like, point me in this direction. Tell me, go left. I'm going to go holler. So I had to jump through some rings of fire, but I got the tickets. Right. But he definitely was offended that I hit him <laughs> for some Beyonce it's tickets. The shit like, like, please, you can't be serious. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> I told wifey, you about to split yo. We don't do that around these bars. <laughs> hey, you know what's crazy? Women don't even get the the the, the yeah. funny brother brotherness. Yeah, club. like nigga, you bugging Beyonce tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got those. <laughs> so uh one thing I wanted to ask you about was um early on, it was like you, Ja, um, and DMX. Was doing a lot of shows together. Yeah, X. Rest in peace, man. The yeah. GOAT, man. X. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. I mean, Ja, my brother. You know, yeah, you know yeah, how we do. Yeah, we yes. roll, man. Early on, early on, how, how was that connecting with, with um because that was like your first rap friends, right? Was like yeah, I believe Ja was Ja was yeah. the first. And then I met X on Hard Knock Life, you know what I mean? With uh -huh. Kaiser and all of them. But Ja was the first one. I remember we was at some video shoot for Hove that never even came out. Work. Shot the video in Long Island. <clears throat> the video never even came out. I forgot what song it was. But I met Ja probably, what, 96, mm. 97? And right. we always been clicked since then. Like, right. my wife and his wife is mad cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. that's it. I always been my dog. Like, you right. know what I mean? Me and Ja roll hard, man. <laughs> like, that's my nigga, man. 
And, and how was it connected with X early? X, X was wild. From the X, beginning? X was wild. Okay. X was wild. I remember my album release party. I had a party in the tunnel. You know, the tunnel is the wildest New York club. You don't be in there by yourself. You need at least right. six yes. goons with you. Yes. And I mean niggas who on go mode. Yes. You, yes. X came by itself. <laughs> Dolo. With a bottle of Hennessy with some red shit mixed in it. Like, yeah, I bought a bottle of blood for my dog. <laughs> Like, oh shit. Like, so you know, I always honored that. Like, X right. was different, man. Like, right. first day I met X, he got us, I think Job was only told, told the same story. Right. Like, X got us the tow car, the, I mean, the, the car towed by the police. Oh, yeah, I was on the highway? Yeah. Yeah. Then he went, we went to some girl crib. He told her, yeah, what y'all got to eat? Got to feed the dogs. The dogs is hungry. <laughs> Word. He made them fry some fish and some chicken for the dogs. The dogs is hungry. <laughs> then we went back to the beach. This is the part Jai left out in this story, though. Jai was foul. He right. knew what happened. Right. Yo, listen. Tell us what happened. Remember, this is the first day I met X. Right. I don't know what's going on in Bad Boy, that Harlem circle, what's going on with them. You know, right. they Harlem, I'm Brooklyn. Uh -huh. I'm in the car with X, he making right. the girl drop us off. We right. get to the beach. This is when the scooters was the big thing on the beach. So Diddy and Bad Boy, all them riding down on the beach. Here come Mace on Tell the scooter. Out here? Yeah, yeah, oh, Miami. Miami. This all happened hey, you in Miami. Was there? <laughs> so here come Mace on the scooter. And they got X jumped out the car, started chasing Mace. Yo! Get back here. Wait till I catch you, nigga. So, you know me, I'm in the back seat like, what the fuck happened between him and Mace? Like, who is this nigga? Matter of fact, he chasing niggas. And nobody in the crew. That's the first day you met, actually. The first day. Right. And nobody in this nigga crew running behind him to stop this nigga. So I'm like, whoever this nigga is, he official. Right. They ain't want no smoke with this nigga. Nigga's like, yeah, I hope he don't catch him. <laughs> Damn. I was in the studio with X, he fell asleep, none of his crew woke him up. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, he, he was different. Yeah. Yo, bro, we was on a Hard Knock Life tour. You know, you bring your team, you get busy, everybody get busy. These dog. niggas were stabbing each other. Right. Niggas would get back to the bus, yo, bro, you poked me. Look, right here, my side. I was like, yo, these rough riding niggas is wildin'. Yo, they, right. yo listen, between them and Wu-Tang, I can say, they probably was the deepest crews I ever seen. I remember going to the Source Awards and Wu-Tang pulled up probably 400 deep with niggas with all them shirts tied around their face. All right. But like, they had something to prove these niggas? Who was Staten Island at that time? Yeah. At that time, they had something to prove for Staten yeah. Island. Yeah. It's like, right. who the fuck is these niggas 400 deep with niggas with masks on? They right. could have killed everybody. You wouldn't know who the fuck they was. Right. So, you know, <laughs> like, I respect them niggas. Right. Right. They pulled up deep. Right. Word. And definitely, that's, that's how they moved, man. You got to respect it. Mm. So... Where was you at when you heard that X passed away? I was home. I was home, man. I was home. And I was definitely heartbroken by that. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't, I definitely wasn't expected. You know, I know he'd been battling his demons his whole right. life. And it's something, you know, it's hard to get over. I lost a lot of loved ones to that same demon. So, right. you know, I, all I could do is pray for the family, man, his wife, right. his kids, and everything, you know? Right. Nah, that's real talk. Okay. Let me, you got that record lined up? Oh shit, okay. more, more, more tricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> First off, you ain't write that verse. Nah. Yo, that's what I want to clarify. That's what I want to clarify, man. Niggas, niggas, let's, let's get this shit clear right here. I was 15 years old yes, sir. spitting that. Yes, that of was Of course hard. I didn't write that. <laughs> Every other fucking verse. Yeah. This is why I love title. Yeah. Check the credits, man. If you don't see my last name, MC, on there, <laughs> And I owe you some money, you heard? <laughs> Yo, but, whoa, all right, when you listen to his first verse, Jay, right? Yeah. Is he really talking about you? Is that... It, it, it describes our relationship. Like, wow. they, at first, they say he wrote the song for Shaheen, but Shaheen was too lit at that time. And shout out Shaheen, too. I smoked his boots back in the days, too. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? We battled back at Stapleton. That's my bro, though. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Niggas, no. There's okay. a lot of verses going on. Okay. That's, that's how I got my, my you know what I mean? Uh -huh. We was, he was out around there. He was out there. To every projects, bro. Everywhere. We didn't care. Brooklyn, nigga, I was in Staten Island. Niggas being Queens. Niggas right. being everywhere. Long Island, Harlem. We, was, we, we had this shit called Shut Your Mouth Night. Mm. You pull up in your projects, bring your best rappers out. They don't want to spit, shut your mouth, nigga. Like, mm. word. Rest in peace, my man Batman, my man Bang. We used to move around and just smoke niggas. But let me, so let me ask you, so when you went to the studio, was the whole song laid out or no? Nah, see, listen. 
Put us on. And this is the ill shit about even him writing that. Because how the whole scenario happened, I was on the bench. It's early morning. Project was, benches? Yeah, in Marcy. Jay yeah. coming through the projects. It was him, Clark Kent, and T Strong from Original Flavor. Mm. So I'm just sitting out there hustling early morning shit. My little bullshit jacks in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, Hove, I get busy, my nigga. And he like, what? This one, they used to call me Little Dre, because my brother named Dre. So he's like, Little Dre, you don't rhyme, man. Get out of here with that bullshit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, I'm telling you, son, I get busy. So mm -hmm. Clark was the one like, let me hear some. So I rhymed. And Clark looked at Jay like, yo, he might got some. So Hov was like, yo, come with me to the crib. Come me upstairs. So we get in the elevator. We go upstairs. He go to his bed. We go in his room. He's in 5? Five, 534. Apartment 5A. Five 5A. Five okay. Yep. So <clears throat> we go in his back room or whatever. He open the notebook. He rip a piece of paper out the notebook and just hands me the piece of paper. Right in the guard on life, bro. Kill me, dad. If I'm lying, I'm flying. And he said, as fast as you remember this piece of paper is as fast as you be on. No beat, no nothing. So I'm like, I take the piece of paper. First of all, Hove used to write in the smallest handwriting <laughs> so you could barely understand it. <laughs> wow. So I go, I get the piece of paper, leave the crib, fly downstairs to my crib. <sighs> so I rewrite the rhyme and I'm spinning it over and over, just saying it in my mind. Probably like an hour tops on guard. Hour tops. I go back upstairs, they still there. So I'm like, yo, I got it. He was like, you remember the rhyme already? So I'm like, yeah, I got it right now. So he was like, yo, I'm going to play a beat. Let's see if you can rhyme to the beat. So he played the coming to age beat, and I spit the verse to the beat. And uh -huh. we jumped in the car right there, went to Clark Kent crib, and did the song in that day. Yep. Okay, you just settled a lifelong problem because people said that Hove never wrote before, and you just settled it right now. <laughs> He's coming to age days. He wrote yeah, a little back, on a piece of paper. We I just, believe, we just I believe that problem. Reasonable Doubt album was, a lot of that shit was in the was, book. Was after great. that, I think it was just free, free will after that. Bro. Right. Because remember, Hove was rhyming super fast back Biggie. in the like day. He, he, didn't he get with Biggie and Biggie was doing that? Yeah. He, he, he did that from there? Yeah. Like, and remember, Hove used to rhyme super fast. So back in the oh, yeah, day in yeah. the projects, niggas like, used to be niggas? like, yeah, niggas to be like, nah, he ain't that nigga. And I used to be like, I think it's bugging. He the greatest ever. And then mm, when right. he slowed it down, it's just... He, he took it to the top. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, he 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 says to you, because he's not, so he says no. to you, I want you to be my artist. How no, does this work? No, no. See, and that's the thing. I do the song. Remember, the album not coming out. It's just right. we did the song. You're not on priority? It's none of that? No, yet. it's okay, nothing. Okay. He just doing the album, him and Clark Kent, totally out their pocket, funding it they self, 100%. So then they do, a, uh, they get a deal with Payday, right? Payday, now. Payday, yeah. I said priority. Payday okay. is what Reasonable Doubt came out on with in right. my lifetime and all of that. Right, we right. was running around with that, my brother. And we was running around with that, you know what I mean? But the album didn't drop probably, we did the song in, what, 94? And it didn't come out in 96. Oof. You know what I'm saying? So Because in my lifetime it came out before, but that was independent completely. Because yes, I yes, have that original right. vinyl. Yes, right. and then it ain't, so that two year gap, I was running around bugging in the hood, wilding like, right. and and once Reasonable Doubt dropped, that's why I'm, I'm not on Volume One. I was too late. Right. Oh yeah, too late, mm, too yeah. late. I missed it. I missed it. And that and that right there, bro. If I could say, I you know you don't regret much in life, but that I regret, man. Is it the story when he came to your house and said yeah. he had a shorty with you? Yep, I yeah, regret that because that tour going <laughs> on with Biggie. You know what I'm saying? That son. But you had a tour going on with Biggie. You didn't he show up for a tour. tour. No, he went, oh, he tour went on with tour with Biggie. Biggie. He clipped okay. me. <laughs> he gave me the scissors for that. Like this nigga want miss the studio? You gonna miss this tour too, nigga? <laughs> Bet that. Yeah, yeah. Holla yeah. at me when I get home, yeah, homie. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Holy moly, guacamole. Listen, Bleak, man, you know you've been on here before, but we we started something that we you have to be a part of. We got to give you your flowers to your face. My brother. You're a legend. <laughs> You're a motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, you Oh, shit. 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 Oh, I was at the, they clipped me then too, see? Jesus, man. Listen, yo, listen, I was there, rest in peace, Big L, right? That whole day was weird. Okay. Because Hove came and got me, I was in high school. Wait, Hove was picked me up. Big L that day? Yeah, I was, listen, okay. We, we, he picked me up from high school, right? Came and got me. It was Source Money in the car and Jay. And he like, yo, going uptown, ah, 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 remember? We was goons then, man. So, you know, I'm in school. 
Mm-hmm. I had that thing on me. We going up town. Okay, cool. Straight. Right. I'm ready. Right. So hope like, yo, you got a gun on you? Like all day, every day. You like, oh, I'm <laughs> like, okay, I'm glad I got you then. Let's right. roll. Right. So boom, we get uptown. So right. <laughs> he wanted to battle Big L. Wow. They were supposed Dane was setting up the battle for him and Big L. Word. Right. And he and he had the bag of money in the car. He like, yo, bleep, go in the car, get the bag of money. So I get the bag. You know, I got the slammer. So he like, y'all niggas got the money or what? What we doing? So niggas like, how much we talking? So I was like, man, I got a hundred grand. Yo, bleep, give me the bag. My mom, I'm like, it's a fucking hundred grand on my back? And I oh, got you a didn't gun know he me? gave you the, the bag? Yeah. And you didn't and know. I'm like, and I got a gun on me? I could have laid everybody. I'm like, these niggas love me. They trust me. Good. That's what I knew. Good. They trust me. Good. You in there, nigga. Good. Ain't no getting Good. clipped. Good. They put a hundred grand on your back, nigga. Good. Not a hundred bricks. Good. If they can put a hundred bricks on your back, they don't love you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They don't love you, my nigga. You, they, yeah. you, you, you yeah. fucked up. Yeah. They put a hundred grand on your back. That's a different story. You know right. what I'm saying? A lot of trust. Mm. So, yeah, but I guess they, they ain't match that. They couldn't match that. That also, grand. the battle didn't happen. It didn't happen. So then they left and went uptown after that. I went back to Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? I, I jetted Dolo like, oh, I got to go get some money. He's a guy running around with 100 grand. I got to go get shit inspired. right. Shit ain't right. I can't hang with y'all like this. Right. So, <laughs> you know, I went back to the hood. And then they went to the Bronx, and that's when that DMX battle, all mm. that shit happened in the same day. Wow. Yeah. So he was supposed to battle Big Al. And end up battling that X. That would been crazy, too. And did they battle for money, or that was not? Nah, he just went in there and winged it. I don't yeah. even think they was really, I don't even think it was a battle. I think they right. just was rhyming, and you know, the, right, they just right. made it into a battle. You know how the streets go? Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know how they do? Throw right. that fuel in there, gas you up. Holy moly. classic moment. Yeah, are, nah, are we, are we man. There's been a lot of classic moments with Hov, man, that... Yo, <laughs> I ever told y'all the story about niggas not wanting to pump gas? Oh, yeah, in the cold winter? Yeah, um, yeah see, you ain't pump gas? Yeah, you gotta yeah. tell us again. Tell, tell us again. Tell, tell us again. Tell us again. Hope we love this story. One. Hope yeah. a real one, man. Hope used to do bullshit to us, man. <laughs> Bad shit to niggas. <laughs> niggas ain't wanted, so we went to a show in Syracuse. And I ain't gonna front. It was knee deep snow, my G. Like we uh, trucking through that snow to get to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so we in there, we perform, we get out. Oh, so nobody wanted to drive. Everybody drunk. Remember, I'm too young. I'm 15 years old. I ain't got no That's license great. in the first. I cannot drive. So they ain't asking me to drive. Right. So I knew I was off. But then we get to the gas station. You know, they got the heat on in the car. Everybody chilling, coat off. Nobody wanted to get out and pump gas. So Hove like, I got to get out and pump gas. All right. So he get out, pump gas. He went in the trunk. Man, everybody coat was in the trunk. Right. He went in the trunk and grabbed his coat, <laughs> jumped in the car, rolled all four windows down, <laughs> and started doing like a buck. <laughs> like, y'all niggas ain't want to. And I was good because he had, you know, Dame and them in the back. I'm in between them. So it's like these two big ass niggas, yeah, hold me down. You heard? Let's go, baby. So I was kind of cool, but he froze niggas' ass on that day. Trust me, he could have filmed Frozen before it came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, at one point, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. At one point, it felt like if you wasn't down at a Rockefeller party, you didn't have fun in the industry. I, I was an outsider looking in. You was inside. Stop front. You, you, you was down. down. You was on all the soundtracks. Yes, yes, yes. You was down. Yes. No, it's very true. It's very you true. Was I was down. down. But what I'm saying is, for the average person, they didn't like Rockefeller. Really seemed like some place to be at. Was was that like the ultimate record label at that time? Describe that for us. Yo, listen. Mm-hmm. Rockefeller was the best label right. in history, and I mean the original now, staff. Okay. I'm talking about when you talking about. G. Robeson, Hip Hop, Lenny S, Bobby Dash, Dame Dash, mm-hmm. Chaka Pilgrim, fucking Dara McIntosh. Okay. You know, like, we was Al the at that time? Um, we was on... 170 Varick? No, not, no nope, right. we wasn't on 170 okay. Varick. We was on Dean Street. Okay, 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 okay. Downtown. I mean, um, downtown. Like, um, yes. Village, the, village, the, village almost. Yes. Okay, like, yeah, continue. The original staff, man, you know, <laughs> Shari, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... That's most of these it people was are fun. Rock Nation, though, right? No, most of these people run in the industry. G. Robeson yeah, and hip hop right. is hip hop since 1987, yeah. 78, whatever. But they manage what? Wayne, Nicki, Kanye, Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. They, you know what I'm saying? Al Branch running all, right, all right. this shit over here. Then there, everybody from the Rockefeller branch is 
head executive somewhere else, man. That right. like, that and that's the lot. knowledge of all of us right. sticking together and learning together. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. like I said, I didn't plan like them. Right. <laughs> Thank God the raps work, baby. You heard? Yeah. Let me get my first drink. And yeah, let's go. Are we doing quick time? Yeah. 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 I want to get. Wasn't drinking. I was just. I was just. You know, we, every year before my birthday, I do that. Like almost every year. Like a fact. Why? Yeah. So you could just go crazy. Yeah, so I go crazy for my birthday. Yes, correct. White boy crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. White boy crazy for sure. Cool. For Where sure. are we going this year? Where you going? Um, I'm going to Lake Como tomorrow. You going to Lake Como tomorrow? Como, yes. It ain't like Cuomo. It's Cuomo. It's not Cuomo like like the mayor no, of New York. No R. No like, R. Yeah, Cuomo. Cuomo. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cuomo. Yeah. No R. My Yo, bad. Listen. Yes. <laughs> Fly. Yeah. Girl. Okay. Super dope. Okay. The homie, what's his name? Now on the tequila now. He live out there. George Clooney, yeah. yeah I got to go to his restaurant. Yeah. I got to meet him at his restaurant. George yeah, Clooney he live out there. So you getting big money. He's in another bracket <laughs> now, dude. Man, I'm got to have an off-the-camera <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Holy moly. So you're drinking now. You haven't drank yet. Yeah, I, I, before quick time of slime. Let me have one drink before quick time of slime. All right. Oh, all right. yes. Uh, okay, quick time of slime. Lemon? Lemon, yes. Can I get another? Hey, and shout out to one? Igloo with this Run DMC yes. collab. Hopefully, we get a Drink Champs one. Yeah. Shout out to Run DMC who sent us over. Yeah. Shout, right out. shout out, man. It's a boombox cooler mm -hmm. joint. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yo, chill. Maybe not the best. You gotta take. You gotta take a little slow. Yes, a little slow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not the best. Slow down. Don't 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 let us yes. carry you yeah. out yeah, of here, no, baby. No, 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 no. You know what I, I got shit to do. Um, <laughs> so bleak. During COVID, this versus thing was humongous. Was humongous. Humongous. And then the word of course, got when out. When they get the mob, my show is over. <laughs> what? But when they get the my show is over. Okay, because hold on. So, so tell us. Chill. Tell Swiss. Holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how did this start? <laughs> did Juels call you out? Oh, no, no, no. Juels was on live and someone asked him about Bleak and then he said he, he said, don't want that smoke. He said, you ain't want that smoke. Yeah, he said, I ain't want that smoke. And then you went up to Rock Nation the next day? What did you do? No, nah, I ain't do nothing. That we was promoting my artist shit. I went on Twitter and said something, and you know, okay. they hyped it up, and then he went back and forth, and then we was smoke, and then I went up there and made it official. You want that smoke? Holla at me, nigga. We here. <laughs> right. And you know, Jewels, he know me, man. I know mm -hmm. Jewels from before the Dipset days, before Rockefeller even popped off. He was in, I think, in the group draft picks. He was managed by one of my homies that used to be cool with my manager. He used to be in the studio with me when I was working my first album. You know what I mean? Jewels was around. He was the homie. Matter of fact, him and, um, fuck is this nigga name from Harlem? Billy Bathgate. Billy Bathgate was in the motherfucking group. No, yeah? I ain't know that. Yeah, man. So Santana was around, you know, before the Dipset days. That's why I always thought when it was the drama, he never shitted on me. Right. Now, you notice he never said nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I always respected him for that. But he, I, I think like Jewel's kind of like avoided all of it, didn't he? Like he, nah, really he was popping shit. Oh yeah, everybody was, was popping shit. <laughs> okay, nah, <laughs> he was popping shit. Everybody was popping shit. We always popping shit, but it was fun times, man. Well, well, I'm gonna be honest. In everyone's respect, you kept saying earlier. You said this earlier. You kept saying because I'm on my Brooklyn shit. They was on their Harlem shit. You were saying that from yeah. back then. You saying that from even Dame Day. Yes. Dame. So was y'all? So I'm they gonna be honest. They separated it. Dame did. Did that man? Dame did that oh, shit, shit, man. Just, Dame did that. He threw him on the he, train track. Yeah, right he made it. Uh, I'm gonna tie his ass to the <laughs> train track because he fucking did that. Okay. And I told these niggas okay. this shit about to be over. Nobody wanted to hear me though. Niggas thought I was fucking bugging, and no. I'm, I'm being quiet. Yeah. No, don't fucking be quiet, because you was there, nigga. I told niggas, yo, listen, y'all bugging. This shit about to be over. Y'all want to separate it? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this shit together, baby. Like, cause the big <laughs> homie over here telling me, the scissors, they coming. <laughs> Y'all niggas say, and this is like nobody wanted to listen. It's like, okay. A lot of clipping then, going on over and here. And now it's over. Everybody listening. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, bunch of lemon drops. Oh. So I love everybody. Like Jimmy, that's my nigga. Before all the drama, everything. Me and Jim, 
And Zeke used to gamble a lot in baseline. I was losing a lot of money to these niggas. They was losing money to me and my niggas. We was cool. Right. And then out the blue, it was, fuck niggas, it's drama, I kill niggas, murder, death, kill. It was like, oh shit. I ain't know how to get on that. And then it was that, and now we cool again. Like, it's right. cool. That don't rap shit. All that baseline studios. All that baseline studio, man. We was in there putting in major work. Right. Freaky, all of them. The whole dip set, man. Even Uncasa, all of them was in there with us, man. Only one I never got to meet out they crew is Hell Rel. That's it. JR was up there with us, but Hell Rel never got to meet Hell Rel. I, I went to Baseline. I, was, I used to go to Baseline. A lot. Be before. Don't, don't act like I, you ain't no, hang no, with no, us. No, 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 Yo, you try to act like he wasn't down. <laughs> like niggas gonna come snipe. Ain't no more beef. No, 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 but look, I'm gonna be honest though. I went up there one time. You talking with inside knowledge. No, no, no. I went up there one time and I was like, oh, they beefing. You could tell. Yeah. You could tell. Yeah. The Brooklyn and Philly was on this side. Cause y'all people nah. forget the Philly niggas. Nah, nah, nope, nope. Okay, we're not gonna let them slide. Okay. Them niggas was playing both sides of the fence, blood. <laughs> Listen, to Beans got so had songs with Cam, Freeway or Jewel's <laughs> album. Give me to say this. This is This is Beans my brothers. I love them. I just did a show with these niggas yesterday. Yeah, no, but see, yeah. Beans like, my brother. Me right? and Beans talking. Beans want to do a podcast with me just telling old shit and shit right. we've been yeah. through we our story. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I told him I was going to, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we're going to yeah. talk off camera. Uh, we got yeah. a couple conversations yeah, off yeah. camera. Okay, cool. But listen, mm. the money went first. But yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> we in. We in. Yo, but I just was with them. You know, Freeway is my motherfucking brother. Like, listen. Okay, but you skipping over the thing. So basically, at that time. It was a lot, of, time, was a lot of both sides going okay, on. Because so. Beans... And free and all them, they fucked with Dame hard. Remember, my right. loyalty was always with Hov, mm -hmm. so it was always, I'm on this side. Right. I used to tell niggas, yo, y'all niggas dipping over there, niggas going, yo, y'all bugging. I, Thought y'all niggas was with me, bro. I, let me be the devil's advocate. Let me be the devil's advocate. Because that was kind of confusing, right? Because Jay is the ultimate not hater, right? He's not, he's not a hater. He doesn't no. care if you get money. But the thing about it is, like when you was when people were at Rockefeller, Dane was like kind of more of the day to day person. Yeah. So if you didn't know, you was probably around Dame and not knowing that this turmoil was pursuing. Mm -hmm. So was that fair to the artist, or or you should have been more aware? I told niggas, man. <laughs> Ask yo, listen. Ask PD Crack. Ask Freeway. Ask Beans. Ask Dame. I had a solo conversation with each of them. I had a conversation with all of us together. I remember when Dame, we, when Ho was doing the Black Album, and we did MSG, and Dame was up there. They clipped this part out the DVD miraculously. <laughs> Should have left this part. But yeah, Dame in there telling niggas, yeah, all y'all gonna retire like this. I'm like, no, the fuck we ain't. No, wait, wait, wait. Why are you lying to these niggas? No, we ain't. Hove retiring like this because Hove is that nigga. Until we spit them nigga bars, we ain't retiring like this, fam. Y'all better hope y'all got a retirement plan. Put this shit together. You see him. He getting out of here. He telling y'all, black album, fade the black, it's over. Y'all better get this shit together. Don't listen to this nigga. But what would have happened if they would have listened to you? What? We the kept this shit together. The boat wouldn't have had a hole in it. We wouldn't have fucking sunk. <laughs> Damn, right? that's real. Like, they'd have came with me, my nigga. I'd have been like Moses. You heard right. me? Bringing right. all the animals. Come on, roll with me, baby. I got the boat. I got the boat. We gonna sell this shit, you heard? But niggas wasn't listening oh, to me. Shit. They wanted to go on that side and go over there, and I'm telling them, they got the connections. He got the bag. The right. bag bring the connection. So, we could buy the connection. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Damn, I never looked at it like that. Yeah. Give a fuck who you know. I got money. Mm -hmm. They gonna know me. Mm. Right? Word. All right. That's real. And I used to tell niggas, man, I swear. I tried to keep it together. I wasn't the hater like on that Brooklyn. Like, I used to talk to you and True. Yeah. Be like, yeah, fuck niggas. Yeah. But then I'd go back to the office and be like, nah, man, this shit can't be over. <laughs> 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 what I'm gonna do, baby? What the fuck? I don't got no other skill. Yeah. What you think I'm gonna do? Go lay carpet, nigga? Right. Fuck. This is what I do. I'm gonna have to ask the tickets later. <laughs> you know, you, you know who's one of the people. I'm sorry I'm bouncing all around. But it's one of the people I felt real, real sorry for, right? Uh, he's come to, to to my studio, the Hood Lab. His name is Big Face Gary, right? Oh, shout man. out Big Yo, Face shout Gary, Shout out man. Big now, Face. Now, let me tell you something about Big Face. Big Face came to my studio, and I would talk to him about anything. 
And he would be like, yeah, because Rockefeller. Like, you, you told, him about, told him about baseball. And he'd be like, yeah, because you know Jay is going to throw the first pitch tomorrow. <laughs> and then you'd be like, yo, you know, uh, you know, Messi is going to play soccer. He's like, yeah, we got a Rockefeller booth in there. Like, he could. Yeah, yeah. He Everybody related everything Rockefeller. to Rockefeller. Yo, listen to me. Everything in his life consist like we're gonna go get lunch. Oh, let's go by the let's go by the building where Rockefeller's at. And I'm like, yo, I, and I told him one day, I said, yo, yo, Gary, I said, what happens if Rockefeller ever be over? And he looked at me like as if I was the one in violation. Yeah. <laughs> he looked at me like Rockefeller will never be I over. I was with him, bro. And I'm telling you, I he never came to the hood lab that day where they closed the office. So I ain't never seen a poppy face like no. that. In yo, my life. Yo, bro. <laughs> he was crushed. Yo, listen. Him and me both, bro. I and never listen, thought this shit was over. He was so over. crushed that I didn't even say, I told you so. You know how you, you know how when a nigga come, come to see you and for the, I told you so. Yeah. And I just looked at him like, it's going to get good. <laughs> like I just gave him a fist pump. But you said you was with him. You didn't think it was yeah, going to be I ain't, over. I ain't wanted to be over, bro. Like, sure. we still had a lot to accomplish, man. You know what I'm saying? There still was a lot of talent there. Like, think... Oh, Skino and Sparks never got off, man. Petey never got off. Right. You know what I mean? It's a lot of niggas who, who didn't get a chance caught up in grown man bullshit. You know what I mean? Just to prove a point. And it's like, you got people lives in the middle of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I was crushed by that too, bro. That shit wasn't a joke. Like, it was like, damn, man, the team. Like, remember, I built my whole life right. since 14 years old. Rockefeller. Right. The time I was, what, 28? Almost yeah. 30, this shit was, you talking about it's over? It was like, this is all I know. You fucking yeah. kidding me? No more baseline. Nigga, right. that's my hangout. Where I'm going to go now? Right. Got to go back to Marcy? Yeah, we got to shoot again, nigga. So, uh. <laughs> like, yeah, like, so that shit changed up everything, man. And then everybody went their own way. And like I said, man, right. I told these niggas. Like, when I knew the final straw was at the Change Clothes video, man. Change Clothes. Yeah. Me and Dame had a major argument because he was telling something to... Another being, major argument? Yeah, we Not always argue. Why? Me and Dame always argue. Okay. Because it was just like, he used to be living on cloud nine and it's like, I was on reality. Like, I always say that. Niggas in the industry are pop every pill under the sun, but that reality pill. Mm. These niggas don't want to accept when it's over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas are being denial and fight against that shit. And it's like, bro, you got to accept. Niggas don't fuck with you, dog. It's on. Well, you got to do something else. And it was that, like, he he was basically telling niggas, yeah, we gonna fix this, we gonna do it. And I'm looking at him like, bro, this shit over. And he looked at me and said, yo, you always going against everything I say, like, you got a problem here. If you don't want to be with Rockefeller, nigga, I give you your walking papers. You know me, like, nigga, you ain't got the power to do that. I'm not on Rockefeller because of you. You crazy? And I remember, like, they broke it up. Security came in there, cleared us out. And then Hove got wind of what happened. And from there, that conversation, I knew. And that shit was over, blood. Got to make a new, got to make new plans now, Blizzle. All right. Mm. Now, I ain't going to lie. I was a part of one of the conversations. Oh, my hat. Okay. I was a part of one of the conversations. We was on private jet. <laughs> Yo, you bring that one up. Yeah, that story's London. infamous. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, listen to me. They almost got it. We almost got kicked off that jet, oh, too, shit. for smoking. <laughs> for smoking, too. That was another part. That was another I ain't gonna lie. I thought the, I thought the pilots was listening to the argument, too. I thought the pilots was into it. The pilots was like, oh, shit. I forgot what we was even arguing about. No, on because that remember, me and you, we had performed back and forth. We had this song for song. We basically did a versus, mm. before versus. Me and you did it. And then it was a beautiful show. I, I felt like we was even. And yeah. Dane coming to you was like, you just kept doing whole shit last night. <clears throat> and Nori killed you. And you was like, and then everyone else is asleep on the jet. So Dame is like, right, Nori? And then you like, right, Nori? And I'm like, oh, shit. If I'm the nigga <laughs> caught in between. And listen to me. Y'all went in. I know. It was a and major, you, you major. You was like, call UPS. You got to pack it up. I said, wait a minute. Somebody else wake up. Like, I'm kicking freeway. I'm throwing shit at somebody else. Wake up. I, I Jolly Ranchers at niggas. Niggas is like, yeah. now they want to snore. Yeah, like, oh, a, shit. Yeah, me and, me and they want to make to, sure they know I'm sleeping. Me and Dame used to go at they it know all they the time, sleeping. man. Because Dame, like, Dame was a true believer, man. But he just was... 
He was a he was beyond belief, man, and I love him for that, and I hated him for it too. Right. When he and now, fought for you, it, it felt great, and that's what I was about to say. And now, yeah. without having somebody on your team to fight for you that right. way, you miss a dang present. You miss a dang. That's very you true. know what I'm saying. I like, will admit that. I yeah. respect them. Like at the end of the day. I love Dang, Biggs, all of them. They changed my life. Mm-hmm. Without them men, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. You feel me? Like, right. Right. like that's real talk. So they saved my life, bro. Like, that's real shit. They so, played a part in that too. So let me ask you why we on this before we, we get over there. You know, I've been watching a lot of Dame's interviews. Um, he, he's very active on the shit. internet. I don't know and why. This, this has been a this has been a, a rumor that. <laughs> This has been a rumor that's been floating around forever, right? And I believe this is the first time I believe either one of them, or at least Dame, has actually addressed this. And he was talking about Aaliyah, and what he was like, about? he was like, yeah, I think that you know, the saltiness kind of started that Jay, I believe, was talking to Aaliyah. Then they stopped talking, and then Dame um, came Sweet. in. Man. I ain't have no money then. These was them Hampton parties. <laughs> I wasn't invited like, then. I was too hood. I respect that. Yeah, I, I, I respect that. I ain't have no money then. Yeah, so like you. that 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 shit took place in the Hamptons. I wasn't <laughs> there, right. B. Like, so I can't really speak on something I don't know. I don't right. recall Jay ever with right. Aaliyah. Like right. that was always dang lady right. with me. God right. bless. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. so I, I don't know where that angle come from, but right. I don't know where any angle come from with Dame still speaking on. The situation, that shit almost 30 years ago, bro. Like, niggas is on the new and better and other things. Like, Jehovah right. done created six, seven different businesses since the fall of Rockefeller. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, we still talking about that? Mm. He got a song called, but what we talking about? Like, right. you feel me? It's like, come on, man. You got to move on something else, man. Like, right. got to grow, man. Life is about growing. Be evolved, man. Right. Evolve or dissolve, man. No, that's real shit. <laughs> I'm ready for good time. Yeah, By the way, three sips. I'm, I'm toasted. You tore up. Chill. I'm toasted. Chill. Chill. But not toasted. Chill. Like I'm Chill. like. All right, let's see what these characters put together. Over what here. y'all put together okay. over here, man? You got to explain to him the rules. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you never played good yeah. time. So we're gonna give you two choices. I played this. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't no, play no, this. No, 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 you know what I mean? I'm yeah. here. I'm part of the crew, man. Yeah. All right, all right. So you gonna set it off with that first one? <laughs> okay. Um. Nah. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Florida. Okay. <laughs> Jay or Biggs? Jay. Okay. Big Daddy Kane or LL Cool J? Kane. We already know how this is gonna yo, go. Yo, Brooklyn, Brooklyn niggas got Brooklyn is out of control. Shit, man. <laughs> yo, Brooklyn. Yo, let me tell you something. There's yo, no more problem nigga in the Somebody world. Somebody got with my shots. Oh yeah, we need shots. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But yeah, why why not Kane over LL? No, What's no, the no. problem with everybody that? Everybody Brooklyn always answers nah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. No matter what. Let me, let me tell you but something. But I'm not even thinking about Brooklyn. No, no, we just said what's been going on. You know why? It's automatic. That's what's been going on. But that's not the reason. I believe it. I believe it. We four or five Brooklyn people together, and they can't go against Brooklyn. Even when they wanted to, they, when they thought about it, yeah. they go, Brooklyn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how are you gonna do Biggie twice? They did. Biggie or DMX? No, no, Tupac. He already did Biggie. Tupac or DMX? We did we no, we didn't do Biggie. Yeah. No, we did. That was Jay-Z big. or Big oh, oh it's Biggs. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant Biggie. Nah, Biggs. Oh, oh, oh. So Biggs? wait, wait, wait. Oh. Who is the what and what and who? Yeah, they, they I don't know what up. y'all just said right yeah. now. Yeah. No, no, he he knew the first one. He the first one, it. I thought it was Biggie the first no, one. No, I said Biggs. Jay Z or Biggs? Yeah, Jay Z or Biggs? Like, oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, oh, you understood CEOs, that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So my now bad. this one is Biggie or DMX? Okay, my bad. Biggie. Okay. EPMD or Run DMC? Run DMC. It had a bigger impact. Mm. You can do the next one. Beans or Freeway? <sighs> Give me a shot. Okay. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I'm gonna take the shot with you. By the way, I'm fucked. Uh, oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Okay. Yo, this guy, this guy, this, this, this guy is, welcome back the whole time. <laughs> like, like the devil. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, you remember, you remember? You have to drink. You have to drink. That, was, that, that wasn't no, around. No, that was a dumb shit. That was between yeah, me and you. Sure. That wasn't <laughs> around. You ain't got to tell him, guys. <laughs> you bringing out personal shit. Naughty by nature or Onyx? Naughty by nature. 
Cause of Tretch. Yeah, definitely. Tretch, come on, man. You got, yeah, you, you got, got, them, got them verses. Tell me, yo, chill. See, you a DJ. You don't answer this question. Tell me the third member name of Aunt Onyx. Okay. Who said that? Crazy Hood. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. That's, that could it's, be a trivia. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some hip hop shit. Okay. Y'all just picked Latinos on this one? What's going on with this one? P- <laughs> yeah, that, 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 this is mad racist right here. <laughs> PD, Yo, PD chill. Crack or Joel Ortiz? Mad, mad racist. Joel Ortiz. Over PD Crack? Yeah. Nah, Slime. You want to bring Not this? Listen. PD Crack got your phone number. Chill. <laughs> I know Joel Ortiz since Joel Ortiz was about 10 years old. Get out of here. Yeah, Joel Ortiz grew up in my aunt building. Him, my cousin, living proof, all of them. Wait, so it goes back to Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. He's from, Cooper, he's from Cooper Projects, man. I watched him grow up. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a difference. Like, PD family, but Joel, like, Joel, come on. I watched him grow up, B. Oh, and they both up. nice as a motherfucker. MJ or Prince? MJ. Okay. I I know this is gonna sound a little funny, but did you smell Michael Jackson? Yo, shit. <laughs> like, nah, like, nah, I, I nah. I never met him, so I don't know. Like, did he smell <laughs> like, like, no, like obsession? That you know was what the only Calvin person Klein? I ever been starstruck for. That's yeah, why I'm not in the picture been, tonight, because yeah. I was just standing there still in awe, like, yo, fucking Hove really got Michael Jackson at Summer Jam, <laughs> like in the back with us. <laughs> I was blown away, so. When I was making Grimy, Janet Jackson was filming. She was recording right next door. So in order for her to walk in, she wanted everyone to walk out the session. So it was me, Chris Lighty, Pharrell, um, Ray J. I don't know why Ray J and Brandy was there, but they were there. <laughs> Ray J and Brandy. And, and chill. so the security walks in and says, Janet Jackson won't walk in unless y'all walk out. So I said, Janet Jackson? And they're like, Janet Jackson. And Chris Light's like, fuck that. I ain't, g-. Chris Light's like, fuck that. How much did she pay? Because I know she ain't paid more than me. I said, yo, listen. That's Janet. I said, Chris, we I, I don't ask for a lot of things. I said, but when Penny from Good Times asked for that, something, for that's a fact. I get the fuck up and that's I move, Chris. Excuse so me. I got that's the fuck a fact. up. And he would have not fact. moved. And I had to, I, I literally had to say, Penny from Good Times. I didn't even say Janet Jackson. That's right. I said, you Penny know, from Good niggas Times. had that crush on Penny. Yeah, but um, yeah, Michael <laughs> Penny Jackson. was hurting so you like didn't, us you too. Ain't get to smell. <laughs> you ain't get to smell Michael Jackson. Let's move nah, on. Okay. Jesus Christ. I, mean, I don't you never smell know. no man. He might have. Oh come on. He might have smelled. So would you have smelled him if you walked by? Crystal meth. Would you smell? Would you smell? I don't know what Crystal meth smelled like. I might have said, hey. You would have been like, come here, my man. Hell yeah. Chill. Hell yeah. Chill, man. Let me take a hit. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> the other day, uh, uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie. The other day, <laughs> Fat Joe came to the, to the juice bar, and I was like, "Yo, hey, what you got on?" And he just was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I start to do that from now on. Like when I get exclusive cologne, niggas like, "What you got on?" I'm like, "I got that on." Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I don't you want niggas, niggas smelling like you. Bro. Oh shit. What's up? A Mel or Eve? Eve, man. Eve, my peoples, man. Shout out with the lovely Eve, man. I knew Eve when she was Eve of Destruction. Yeah, that's right. Same here. Rough Riders, man. She's, no, before, a, she's a beast. I knew, oh. I knew her when she was signed to Dr. Dre. Oh, shit. Nah, I don't know that. Yeah, I did a song Straight about. out of Philly. Straight out of Philly. Dr. Dre and them people called me. Yeah, she was an I had to go to Philly. Yeah. She was Eve of Destruction. Scott Storch was producing it. And uh, Mel, man. Yeah, I go back that far. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah, nah, Eve I'm, the I'm a legend. I've been a legend. I'm sorry. It ain't about me. My bad. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> did you smell it, her? <laughs> Yo, chill. Yo, love it. That's right. I love, I love sex. I love sex. Illmatic or ready to die? Shot. You gonna take a shot? I'm taking a shot. Shit. Shit. Coño. Coño. I gotta chase that one with some water. Y'all niggas trying to kill Yo, me. Oh, these niggas think you an old nigga, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just basing it on this next and question. Old soul. No, you've been around the corner. Soul. Or the Palladium. No, you've been around palladium. with the Palladium. Yeah, okay, Palladium, you've been around man. Palladium. I watch Hov and Biggie perform in the Palladium. Yeah. That's right. I on the Big Daddy Kane show. That's right. Big Daddy Kane was just here. He yeah. just told us about that. <clears throat> Fab or Jada Kiss? Don't go Brooklyn. <laughs> Jada, man. Jada? Jada. He went against Brooklyn. Yeah, Okay, Jada. all right, you do do that. All right, my yeah, bad. Jada. Fab cool, but Jada the homie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one gotta be some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. He laughed before yeah. he even asked it. That's the, yo, by the yo. way, we, me and Evan don't make these questions. It's the, it's the Dominican and the Colombian right chill, here. Chill. 
OG Juan or Dame Dash? <laughs> OG Juan. Okay. Trick Daddy or Rick Ross? Trick. Brown here. Trick. Brown here. Trick right. the homie. Trick. I done been that's in good, fucking Cocos with Trick. Bruh. <laughs> You ain't smoke his blunt though. No, come both. on. Stop that. Both. Yo, bro, listen. Yo, chill. Shout out Ross too. Chill, nah, chill. No, I, I love him. I love him. That's he, my brother. He, yeah. yeah. You know, ain't smoking man. them blunts. Yeah, we, we smoke separate. Yeah. We, oh, we, oh, we hang day. together. Smoke oh, separate. That's, yo, chill. That's my brother. That's, my brother. that's, that's just, right. I just went on this podcast. He he understands. He 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 knows. Yo, you's a fool, man. Ready? Okay, you want to go this one? Ice Cube or Scarface? Ice Cube. French Montana or Skinny Joe? Who the fuck is Skinny Joe? You know who he is. <laughs> the <laughs> double all the way up remix. Oh, of course, Skinny yeah. Joe. Yeah, okay, okay. Nigga says Skinny Joe. That's I mean, we gotta go. stop. Yo, we gotta stop calling him fat. Yo, that's point. medium Joe then. Nah, he 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 like on. He's about to wear medium. See, he's about to wear <laughs> bugle boy jeans. Yo, chill. Are those bugle boys? You remember you bugle boys? <laughs> Used to shop in Alexander? Oh, nah. No, I shopped nah. at Alexander. I Ocean never. Pacific, you don't remember Yeah, that? I remember Ocean okay. Pacific. Yeah. That's yes. a fact. Nigga, I shopped at Jabos. Dave and Buster's, nigga. David Not Buster. Dave and Buster's. I mean Buster uh, David, Brown. I'm like Buster Brown. Buster Brown. Yeah, Dave and Buster's That's a video game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nobody had that, that shit, bro. You see? Nobody yeah. shopped at Dave and Buster's. Yeah, nobody had that, bro. Too much liquor. That's Brooklyn shit. Too early for this liquor shit, man. I ain't used to be at this early. Not Dave and Buster's. And I need a lot of flashing lights and girls in front of me to continue. This liquor. <laughs> okay. Pharrell or Timberland? <laughs> Timbo. Was is that your bitch? Timbo. Is that your body? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is that your bitch? Ain't it hey, poppy? Even hey, if hey, you don't uh, understand. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I mean? Okay. It's mm, a good one. Uh, um, I'm, I'm going to let you get that one. AZ or Cormega? AZ. AZ from Brooklyn, baby. Damn, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Look, Come it took on, you man. one second. You just went right back to Brooklyn. <laughs> he regrets. You got on the BQE for one second and then turned around. Nah. And then did a U-turn. AZ, nah. <laughs> man, niggas don't know. Niggas used to study AZ flow back in the day. Mm. AZ nah, was AZ that guy, good. man. Mm. Come on. He was he, in Dead President video. He said that. Yeah. Mm. That wasn't a good role, but it was good. It wasn't a good role? Nah, it wasn't. Okay. They was rolling real yeah. Dice Monopoly, though, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. That's the rumor. Oh, that? No, that. Yeah. yeah. He was in that. That's a okay. fact. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Um, go ahead. You want to go to the ladies? Missy or Lauren Hill? Lauren. The Source or XXL? Source. I, I, I want to ask this one. Smooth the Hustler or Source Money? Source Money, man. Marcy, man. Come on. You can't. Come on. Yeah, let me just tell you something. Since we did a deal with Title, <laughs> Source Money thinks he's banned from Drink Jam. Yo. <laughs> absolutely not. I did see him say something about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Source, Source the homie, man. Source my nigga. I remember I tried to battle Source and Marcy one day. I was feeling myself like, yeah, I'm going to be the day. I'm going to be Hove, man. You think you close to Hove? Wait till I Hove hear this shit. You don't want no smoke, nigga. Uh -huh. Nigga like, what, Bleak? Let me hear something. Spit. He's like, all right, cool. He spit. That's when he said the line, niggas must think I'm Chinese the way they duck sauce. So like, yo, chill. <laughs> you got it. You officially hold man. Yeah, right? You can have the title, my nigga. It's yours. Fuck it. Yeah, he's a... <laughs> right. Yeah, well, maybe I saw someone you're not banned by Diddy or Hov oh, didn't Yeah, nah, nobody yeah. banned sauce, man. That, 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 niggas too busy to... How you ban somebody for yeah. something? I want to know. Niggas are like, yo... Because there's a couple people I know be like, yo, they blackball me. How do you do that? You call every station, be like, yo, don't play this kid. Who the fuck got that time in the day? I'm going to be honest. The further I got in life when the person said they was blackballed is the more of a more of a loser people. Yeah, like... Because they need something to blame. They need something it, to say. You need and, an excuse. And especially Illuminati, yeah. too. They be like, well, he's Illuminati. Yeah. Right. Like, My thing is, that, that killed me with the hove in them. They drunk. They Illuminati. Yeah. Why the fuck I ain't drink? Then. <laughs> <laughs> I just went to the party Let everybody get Illuminati wasted And I said Yo I'm a, I'm, I'm a steak No I'm cool Tonight's the night I'm on my Nori shit 36 hours clean My birthday coming y'all I'm not doing a blood sacrifice Fuck today I'd have been in there Vampire from Brooklyn nigga You think Eddie had it? Me nigga <laughs> Oh, my God.
Who's in here with that? Who's just bugging with that? He would have joined. What they say, blood in, blood out? <laughs> Meek <Nicolo>. low. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there, nigga. You kidding me? Fuck out of here. What they say? Head down. I done dived in the pool of blood. Fuck out of here. Illuminati. <laughs> it's called the Illuma Grande, nigga. Fuck out of here. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh, Meek Miller, push your teeth. Meek? That, oh, you, you skipped over the Saucer XL? No, nah, you asked me. I said, so okay, 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 no, my bad. Yeah, I'm a little saucy. Yo, that that nigga's like, acting up already. I ain't gonna lie. Listen. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> Not to dwell on the Meek Pusha T shit, but I'm gonna be keep it real, man. Well, Meek and Pusha, Pusha T don't got no beef. No. We're talking about Drake. <laughs> We're talking about the light skin guard over here. Who? Who? Drake. We don't take no, <laughs> we don't accept Drake slander over here. Drake is Drake is Drake is damn near Puerto goated. Rican to us. Drake is goaded. I ain't uh -huh. got no beef with Drake. Mm -hmm. Drake is sing your ass out the game. Leave Drake alone. Yeah, leave him alone. But listen, Pusha T, he's mega nice, right? Yeah. We're we not going to take that away. But I can honestly say, man, he, the rap game, don't hold him to the same standards they hold everybody else to. Because I seen them do this so. to Jeezy. I seen them do it to Ross. I seen them do it to me. They say niggas talk about the same thing all the time. Yo, you need to switch it up. Uh, My yeah. man been talking about coke since. <laughs> you yeah. kidding me, nigga? Pablo was alive when he wrote his first coke verse. <laughs> you ain't wrong about that. You kidding me? That nigga said he got the, what the, Harry Potter roof, nigga. <laughs> you got coke on the roof, nigga. It's time to switch it up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how nice he is. <laughs> it don't sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> like, that nigga mega nice, metaphors through the roof. Mm. And I know everybody was thinking Jim Jones was bugging for getting in that smoke. But Jimmy took that smoke and hit him with that. Uh, I want to see the comeback, but Jimmy smoked out. Yeah. He surprised me. He probably. I told, I told Jim what happens if Pusha T said he wasn't talking about him. Yo, I Jim, seen Jim that. Said he would be yo, honest. yo, I seen that <laughs> because that is that some answer. bullshit. Because yeah. niggas do right robs, and you be like, yo, he's talking about me. Then be like, nigga, I even wasn't even thinking about you. Because <laughs> it wasn't like with you and Nas. You was like, you said it was written. Yeah, niggas, the truth. You was bugging, bleak. Yeah, yeah. I, it out. <laughs> yo, bro, I already admitted that. Two, yo, two drink chairs ago. We got. Yo, we yo, not going to play back yo, the tape. Yo, 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 I admit it. I bought my head. It's cool. No, like, story, sometimes dog. you got to go. You, you test the water and see niggas just smoke your boots. I had to go get my big brother. Yo, hold me down. Niggas jump me. Yo. <laughs> Who was the dude? It was, it was the dude my in the project. My little man from the hood named Jabba. He set you up. Jabba. Set me up. Call me. Yo, niggas talk about you. What you mean? Let me hear it. Nigga ain't talk about me, man. What, what joint did you throw at nah, Nas was talking about you at? I don't know, he said something. I think it was <laughs> Nostra Diamonds, because he said, you want beef, I let a slug melt in your hat. Some shit like that, he was saying. Nigga, like, yeah, he talking about you. Who wear hats? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> nigga. Who wear hats? Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, you know I was on my project shit like, you lying. I got to hold it down. Marcy, nigga. Fuck niggas think they talking to. But it's cool. Shit happens, man. It's over with. It's done. Niggas is back friends. Cause I, that's cool. dope. But I always wanted to ask you, because even if he went at you, right? Uh, if you thought that that was the truth, right? Yeah. That was a, a side shot. Why did you go so direct? Like, why didn't you try to take a side shot back? Because once you said it was written, there's no way you could take it away. So that wasn't a side shot. That was a straight up head on collision. I never, I wasn't the kid who used to break windows and run. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to do sneaky shit. I know right. how to punch you in your face and say, yeah, they got our bloody just shit up. Here right. we go. It's all. <laughs> right, right, you right. feel me? Like, right. so I was never a sneaky kid. So I know mm -hmm. how to come full fledged direct. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, it's on the smoke. What's up? Mm -hmm. And then shit just went crazy, monumental, <laughs> historic, where niggas still talk about it to this day. It's like, right. goddamn, believe you violated. You started some bullshit. That's like I fucking started an earthquake somewhere. Nigga, like, yo, who did the earthquake? Bleed. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? And especially, uh, not that earthquake, a hurricane, because the hurricane yeah. starts in the, um, the middle of the ocean. Yeah. And then it goes to the land. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started some bullshit, yeah. man. Fuck it. It's cool. We'll I get back to that later. Okay. That. Let's, see, let's, see where, let's see where you land on this one. ODB or Bismarcky? OD. ODB? You ever gave ODB a, a handshake? 
Hell yeah. yeah. You know, Dame, yo, told you, Dame was wildin'. Dame signed everybody to Rockefeller. We was like a fucking rap, rap game. What they called the, the, for the, the shelter. Everybody had a deal. He was on his Oprah Shelter shit. Down. You get a deal. You get a deal. You get a deal. He was on his Oprah shit. Everybody got a deal. You spit, deal. We had niggas from London, niggas from Poland. Niggas. You had SAS. Everybody, nigga. You kidding me? Every You could have got a deal. Right. Um, Mob Deep or MOP? MOP. Damn. Oh, like, listen. That to the death album raised me, man. Like, oh. I respect Mob Deep. Don't get me wrong. P and Havoc, that first album, and that wasn't even their first no, album. Are you talking about the infamous? Yes, the, okay. that infamous album is still nobody even rocking with. Yeah, that infamous album. Yeah, that infamous album. 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 That he, right. Like that level well, of rhyming can. on that project, bro, was. No, it was a super classic. Come on, bro. It was it was through the roof. And mm -hmm. like MOP is just. MOP was what Tupac was to everybody to Brooklyn. You know what I mean? MOP, you wanted to shoot some shit up. You played some MOP. How right. about some hardcore? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that that to the death album. You play that to the death, just that beat. I'm still ready to put my chuckers on and stomp somebody. Yeah, MOP. <laughs> Video music box or your MTV raps? Video music box, man. Ralph? That's right, man. That was classic, man. Ralph McDaniels was in the hood with the major VCR, VHS, camcorder, and the loom in the in the gray mic, like a news reporter. Burr. In the History. trenches. Burr. Ralph and, was in the trenches. And he was there with y'all right after Michael Jackson, too. Yeah, Ralph was in the trenches. <laughs> Ralph, the reason we got clipped, they said. You see? Ralph did that interview. You went and did that interview, we went a big clip, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Eminem or Snoop? Snoop. Snoop, my dog. I got Snoop cereal the other day, too. Yeah, I got it. That's him and Master P, right? Yep. Yeah, my daughter talk about, can we try it? No, little girl, this shit monumental. Go sit down. Just Blaze or Kanye West? Just. Don't you, Just Blaze, um, got a joint with Rihanna? What's the name of it? That's not about Just Bing. Oh, that's not Just Bing? Who, nah, who Bink do? produced that. Bink. Yeah, oh, Bink that's, dog, that's, the that's monster. Just Enemy. Yo, chill. Yeah, I, I yo, violated yo, just yo, now. Listen. Bink, my bad. Yo, chill. Holy shit. Yo, Bink, yo, my bad. That was like the, the old some funny shit. shit. Yo, I totally forgot. Yo, I remember I used yeah. to go to Bink crib in Jersey. We had the crib in Jersey. And I said something about Just. I think it was like, we don't say that name in this house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, what? You don't say Just Bink? You said it again. That's blasphemy. We don't say that name in this house. And he really had a sign up. No saying just blaze in this house. Next like, yo, this nigga's in your head. He was like, nah, I may stole my style. But by my the way, style, my I'm drums. Be honest, you know who else says that too? Like to a certain extent? Yay. Whatever album it was, I feel, I, they feel like Bink and Ye started the album and then just came and completed the album. And they never, yeah, Blue Man. And they kind of like never really got, but they both have the same story, Bink and Ye. I swear to God. Just as, yo, listen. But it's not just fault. They just was called, to, um, you know, it's to called, handle a job. And it's called Still Stop Shop is Still, right? Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to learn something from you if I'm around you every day and you got a skill that I don't possess. I'm going to eventually pick up off it, right? Yeah, yeah it's going to roll Like, off. it's just yeah. natural instinct. That's what happens. Like, I remember when Beans first signed. Like, remember, I was the only artist with me and Source Money. And then something happened with Jay and Source and there was no Source Money. It was just bleak. Everything was bleak. Then they signed Beans, and it was like, who the fuck is Bleak? It was everything Beans. was Beans. And I was like, okay. let me see who the fuck this nigga is, man. You coming in my turf, taking my shit. Okay. Now I went in the studio. They like, yeah, y'all got to do a record together. It's like, all right, cool. What was this record called? Crew Love. So I'm like, yeah. That was the first record? Yeah. So I'm going to spit my verse, do my shit, fuck. I thought y'all friends can't by fuck that then me. already. Nope. Listen, oh. <laughs> do my shit, fuck these Philly niggas. No, make believe crew. <laughs> he came in there, that Monopoly verse... I was like, wait a minute. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> wait a minute. Y'all ain't tell me this nigga was this nigga. Who, nigga, we got to be friends. Get over here. I want to drama with you. No. I want to learn from you, nigga. Get over here. We need to chat a little bit. You heard? Yo, word. All those songs, Crew Love, Thousand Bars. I hated all those records. I hated them all. Just to listen to them shit like, 
this nigga's fucking smoking me. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't until we did who the fuck on what to where I was like, it felt good. Got your shit bleak. Mm. And that's learning from beans, being in the studio, working with them. Right. You know, that make you he better. Like too. we did hypnotic. All those records together was because of beans. Like I thought you talking about the drink, hypnotic. Nah, nah, the song hypnotic. Me, hypnotic. him, and Hove. You drink hypnotic. I ain't never drink that. I never drink, drink colorful shit. drinks, you drink man. You out your shit. mind? Like, if I, I'm going to make it colorful. It's not going to come already colorful. That's just like buying a spiked drink. I'm cool. They going to tell me this fucking blue shit going to get me drunk. I'm cool. Right. KRS one or Rock Kim? KRS, man. KRS, man. He's the GOAT, man. K are the greatest, man, ever to me. Okay. KR is the best ever to me. Like, always. Like, that's the first album I ever bought, man. That's what made me fall in love with hip-hop. What, I'm criminal-minded? That's right, man. That made me fall in love with hip-hop. I love criminal-minded. Just two records I could not fuck with. I know you can. I know. <laughs> he, he, and he, you still fucked with them. He smoked niggas' still boots, man. You still fucked with them. Let's be but honest. I just didn't play it in public. Yo, KR, is the, he, he's the greatest, man. I assume this is movies. State Property 2 or Paid and Fall? I'm in them both, but be careful. <laughs> I think he I knows. I gotta say state property too. That's right, goddamn. I, I state saw. property too. So what was in your mind when they told you you're gonna die of state property one? Listen, let me tell you the story behind that. <laughs> I never read the script. Okay. So I didn't know I was gonna die. You didn't know you were gonna die? No. Okay. So I just came in the office, niggas talking about, yo, we doing the movie. Okay, cool. Me, whoever the gangster is, that's me. So they gave me the script. I never read it. So when I show up on, on set, they used to be like, Bleak, you got to shoot your scene. I used to be like, what's my lines? They'd be like, yo, you ain't read the script? No, I never read the script. <clears throat> so I used to write my lines down, little piece of paper, give it to me to remember. And then I would go on set and do the scene. And then the day when I, they told me I was going to die, it was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> we got to rewrite the script. They was like, yo, you never read the script, so you ain't know you was going to die. It was like, why y'all killing me, though? I got the best role. Like, I'm the, I'm the killer I'm putting in work. Why wow, I'm doing really good. I'm a good actor. They killed me off. But that wasn't the highlight of the movie. The best shit of the movie, man, is the scene with me and Tata, yo. Yo, listen. Tata? Oh, my fucking God. I can't remember Tata. It's a scene with me and Tata in the movie okay. when he tell me to tell Bean suck my dick. Yo, listen. We probably shot that scene 4,000 times. Because every time I cross the street, yo, my nigga, what's up? What? Yo, niggas is just bust out laughing. Because remember, Tata OG. Yeah. You don't talk to Tata like, yo, what the fuck? Who the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You don't. It's not just certain shit you just don't do it. Then you around a nigga every day. So it was like, come on. Then he got it. So when I got over my part, like, okay, cool. Now, mind you, know niggas don't be like, yo, suck my dick. Yeah. So for him to say that to me, yo, we, yo, the director was done with us. Like, yo, y'all niggas costing us money, man. We running over budget, man. Y'all got to get this scene done with. Yo, that, yo, that scene probably took two days for us to do. No bullshit. No bullshit. We could not get that scene done for nothing. And me dying. If you look at the cut scenes, like the out, like, you know how they have the, out, the outtakes of the movie? Look at the dying scene of me. I think it's going to last forever. I couldn't fall for nothing. It's the only nigga who got shot and stood up. <laughs> I couldn't make myself fall for nothing, yo. It was the worst fall in history. So for the record, when they was shooting State Property 2, you was hating. Let's just throw it out there. I hated all y'all niggas. <laughs> Fuck all y'all niggas, because they killed me. I'd have been in there putting in work on my man right here, thugging y'all bitch ass niggas out. Y'all need to kill me. Y'all the ass of muscle, y'all sucker ass niggas. Yeah, you know what's funny? Now you gotta read them scripts. You know, you know what's funny? Um, I get word that they filming the, the movie and I forget that Bleak dies in the movie. And you hit me so up. So I hit you because yeah. they hit me and they go, yo, you the only black and Puerto Rican person that we know that could fulfill for P.D. Crack. So my only request, like his name was Pedro. I was like, I don't want to be Pedro because I wanted to be more like, mm -hmm. so they, they came and they read it over. So the first person I call is Bleak. I'm yep. like, yo, I think I got this shit. Got the He's movie. like, man, fuck them, man. <laughs> He's like, they killed me in part one. And that is, like, I remember that guy. day. Because he definitely called me like, yo, I got the movie. I'll be a state property too, my nigga. We going to do that thing. I'm like, what? 
man, fuck that movie, <laughs> man. That nigga just killed me in part and one. I totally bro. forgot. Word. I totally. But you also was in Paper Soldiers. Yeah, first and movie. You know what's dope about your role in Paper Soldiers? No, fuck that. Uh. I ducked Dave for like six months for that movie. Oh, really? I did not want to do that movie. Because this was at the time when Rockefeller was breaking up. So he was shooting Death of a Dynasty Death of a Di- I was in, at I'm in the that same too, time. I never I'm understood that So, I, so yeah. I was like, fuck everybody. I'm not getting in this movie. So he used to be calling me, yo, Bleak, I need you to be in the movie. You go do the scene. All right. All right, damn, cool. I'll Is that why all your lines is rap lines? Yeah. Oh, because I never wanted to do it. So I guess he called Jay. You pulled out a gun. What the fuck? What? Yeah, what? Have Jay, you seen? Like damn, yeah. Bleak. And yeah. Jay called me and, and was like, "Yo, Bleak, come on, man, for me, bro, do the movie." So I did it. And Dame always felt the way about that because I remember he that said he, to me, he, 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 "You wouldn't do it unless Jay called you." And he said that to me, like, "Damn, I've been looking for you for months mm. to do this shit. Hove called you once and you go do it. Like that's some bullshit." I remember he said that shit to me. Yeah, let's, it was let's just take like, a shot for Dame and take a shot for your loyalty. You know what I'm saying? For both. God damn, man. God damn. My G. God damn. Salud. But I definitely had fun at State Property, too. I definitely did. Thank, th- thank y'all for that experience. Yeah, not me. I wasn't there. I was in spirit. <laughs> they had me in spirit. You could have hated. You did not hate. <laughs> Oof. That bugger hit me hard this time. Okay. I was, still on me? No, no, I got it. I got okay, it. go ahead. I think I got it. Oh, DJ Clue or Funk Flex? Flex, man. Clue, my man. I I can't. Clue, my man. Right. Went on tour with Clue. But Clue, don't fuck with me because it's some fake ass, I don't know, they think me and Fab, I don't fuck with Fab or something. But Clue never really rocked with Bleak. <coughs> Why? You, you definitely picked Jada Kiss fast. So Yeah, but no, Fab, my bro. I fuck. I, I see Fab. I show mad love. I never had no problem with. This is the thing. Let me be honest. Google anything in this industry. I never had a problem with nobody. Mm-hmm. I do not wake up and watch another man and say, hey, right. you know what? I'm going to make an issue with this nigga. What the fuck did Fab ever do to me or me ever do to him for it to be some beef? Like, I don't, where, where, where it come from? It always been some imaginary, like, fake shit there. But me and Fab brother... Is major cool. Okay. Yeah, major cool. You know what I'm saying? But it always been some fake shit there. And Clue, I think, always was like, yeah. Thought it was Clue the whole time. And Skane Dollar, too. Nah, Strong Skane, Skane my bro. I brought I my first it. truck from Skane. You kidding <laughs> me? Skane, my better. fucking brother. I love that nigga. Clue, I love Clue, too. You know, but it just, me and Clue just never, never built that bond. And we was on tour together and everything. We just never, never got cool. I always got cool with the niggas around. Clue showed love, but always been like, all right, all right whatever, bleak. All right. So, you know, it's that. So you, you, you safe to say Clue won't be hosting your next mixtape. <laughs> Clue never hosted a mixtape for Bleak. It's real. But he, I, put you, he put you on his tapes. Because I was on a song with Ho. <laughs> of course. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make he, it. He put a Bleak song up there. <laughs> no Bleak song. He, I think I made the first Clue tape. Every other Clue tape was on some Ho shit. Like, it was cool. Like It's not bad. Yo, I don't hold no malice against nobody, man. No DJ, no DJ, no, put it this way. No DJ, no artist, no producer, no program director. Nobody in this industry has ever offended me the way I feel some type of way about you niggas. Mm -hmm. I don't think about these niggas. I'm always on the check. That's all I think about. So if that's your last name in the check, then you on my mind. (laughs) Simple. I respect that. Uh, NWA or Public Enemy? NWA, baby. They, they, come on. They the reason we do this gangster shit. Straight out of Compton. But, shit. Public Enemy, re- reason why we call niggas son. They had the first S1Ws. I'm sorry, what did you say? You Public Enemy. The reason why we call people son is because of... Public Enemy. How? They had the S1Ws. Son 1Ws. I thought it was Soldier. Well, you called his son one. <laughs> But word, that's where we got it from oh. in Brooklyn. Word, I, I think that was some some um, what they call you know F O I shit. Yeah, they they, yeah. they yeah, shit they was on. That, yeah. yeah, okay. Analog or digital? Digital, digital. You, you on that new wave shit? Yeah, man, shit faster. Be that analog shit. I ain't got time to wait. <laughs> Fuck all that shit, man. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> Rough Riders or Cash Money? Rough Riders, baby. Them my bros, man. Right. All of them, D, Y, yep. you know, Swiss, X, yep. Dragon, it's my nigga. Me Shut and Dragon, Dragon had a dope. battle too, you know what I'm saying? Dragon smoked you, keep it real. Get out your mother. <laughs> <laughs>
this nigga. <laughs> got your mind. Drag on, step this shit up, though. Yeah, that nigga still be going he's hard now. Right. He's spitting super deadly right mm-hmm. now. Word. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nah, me and Drag Bang made you cool, man. Okay. Reasonable Doubt or In My Lifetime Volume 2? Reasonable Doubt. But that's what set it off. Reasonable Doubt, hands down. Minister Society or Boys in the Hood? Boys in the Hood. Okay. Boys in the Hood is with Ice Cube, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And it was first. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. So loyalty comes respect. First. No. I'm gonna take a shot for that. Not me. I'm cool. I'm okay. shot it out. Nigga shot, shot me you? up. You take a shot at me? Nigga shot me up, B. I'm hit up. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to get back to the verses and COVID. Thank you. And COVID? Who yeah, wants COVID. smoke? Because I called you and I was like, you're bleak. I, you know, I was just fucking with you. And you had a whole verse. You remember that verse? Yeah, I had mad smoke for niggas. <laughs> okay. But you want me to smoke? Yeah, I want, I want, I want, yeah, I want to hear that verse. Come on, man. Why you want Do me to smoke? Do you remember? That verse is hard. Yo, Cheech, you want me to smoke niggas? Go ahead. Let's, come on, let's hear something. I don't want to start no drama. No, it's no, it's, it's, cool you've been starting be. the drama, I believe. No. <laughs> Wait, it was, oh, it was, you I don't, I don't it think was I specific? remember it. I yeah, it was a specific yeah, verse for something. Like, if it was drama, if right. we having a versus right. battle, you know, it's like a verse for Like you. when Jada stopped his, his rhyme, he's like, you know, I... I'm but pussy. I, I y'all, dick, y'all neighbors. Yeah, That's no, it. it's a little. It's it's very very disrespectful. I don't no. want to do that. Oh, it's disrespectful. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it's very very. It's it's verses, baby. Okay. We getting busy, right? Okay. It's called bringing. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, baby. I bring a bomb. <laughs> so all right. So let's just be clear. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. You know what I mean? So you you saying that you're not you're not worried about if Jewels come out to dipset dipset Montana's mm-hmm. gang bang. Huh, well, that man. shit fire. That shit cool. That shit dope. I ain't. That's cool. What that mean? I'm supposed to be like, oh shit. Tuck your song, Joe Guru. Pack up, Goo. Pack up, Goo. We going home, Goo. Well, clearly you got Guru as the DJ. And Just Blaze. Okay. And Just Blaze. You cheat. Pack up, Goo. But Just Blaze kind of like dips that too. Don't don't do he that. Did, oh boy. Don't fuck. That's cool. He did do that. <laughs> and I always want to fuck him up for that. But I can't. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Yo, but I can't. That's my brother. I love wait, him. What? You know what I'm <laughs> wait, what? You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't hear this Niggas trying to ever. say, I passed up on old boy. You out your old boy fucking mind. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I hit you in the head with an old boy. <laughs> what, they said you had the record first? First what? I had it first when Cameron rapped on it. <laughs> Holy shit. You, you heard it me. first. Yeah, just like I ain't never liked the fact he gave buttons, pump it up too. Fuck out of your nigga. You don't give shit like that away. And I never liked the fact he gave Fab that other shit. Um, the fuck is that record? Smoke with Fab Smoke that he ride in the video with the Bentley. The two-way pager? Damn, what song is this fucking song? Breathe. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, gave, I was I, sick on that too. I breathe, he should have gave you. I was Everything sick else, on that. I'll be honest, he was out of line a little bit. No, I ain't no fucking <laughs> out of line. Pass uh, that. What's the, other, what's the other two records he just named? Um, oh, Pump boy. It up. No, I don't want you to hear you on Pump It Up, sir. It may not no, be you know Pump what? It Up. It's it might that, have been Tuck It Up. Pump It Up get, is in my head. So yeah, you say that's, that's why it's in your head. head. He wants a record in your head. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never even heard these beats. I'm thinking of. Now, the one beat they said I passed up on, cool. Oh, um, the Black Rob, God bless. You know? Whoa. 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 Now that think about it, he did. He got the beat and came up with the concept. Whoa, they act like I passed up on that. Right, concept. like you passed up. You take that right. concept away from that beat, would it still be that monumental? No, nah, probably. You understand nah, what yeah, I'm saying? Like understand. that's his yeah. thought to get the beat yeah, and right. say, "Whoa, that's like me being unfair." If I was to tell you, "Yo, Red Man passed up on the mind right beat," he when he heard it, he didn't hear mind right. When right. I heard it, I did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So right. you can't say somebody passed up on something unless you gave them the idea with the beat and they passed up on that. Like, then um, that's a fair be like, like yo, they let gave me the idea go. and the beat for Jigga, Jigga, that nigga, Jigga. It was Nori, yeah. Nori, that nigga, Nori. I was like, oh, I ain't fucking with that. Then I heard Hov on it. I was like, fuck. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> I was like, how did you see that? <laughs> 
<laughs> see, and nah. they had the hook and everything on no, it. No, but see, that's now that's something you could say you had. They gave you yeah. the vision. <laughs> Damn, nigga, you know what I mean? be friends. He said like, you don't fucked up. Yeah. But yeah, I, fucked I get no, slaughtered for this shit. That. Like niggas be on Twitter, like bleak is bugging. He passed on whoa. No, I didn't pass on whoa. <laughs> right. Passed on the beat. You know what else I passed on? Um. Holla back, youngin. Woo woo. Holla back, youngin. Woo woo. Yo, you know a lot of Pharrell, people. A lot you know, of people don't know. I respect Pharrell. For you know that. what Pharrell told me to do? Pharrell told me to go study Ice Ice Baby. That's exactly and he what said, that song. Is. And he said, he said, he said, study Ice Ice Baby. And yep, on the second day ice. of me studying Ice Ice Baby, I called him back. I said, I can't do it. <laughs> I said, I can't do it. And he yeah. said, you know what? Fuck it. And that's how Homeboy came about. Yo, Homeboy Fat murdered that because shit. Because if you listen to it, um, Holla back, youngin is. Is um Roland go, go to see yeah. us? Seven dash from a dash. dash. Go to he. Go, look, go listen guy. to it. It's the same yeah. exact flow. Yeah, it's a holla back, young. It is ice, ice, baby. It's the same exact. I remember shit. when I first heard it and Fab spit it. That Roland. Go to see the stash in the dash hold to. I was like, yo, hold on, this nigga on a different level. That was like, ice, ice. That's look, look. And like, I did the I same thing. So Pharrell gave me the same thing and said. But I want you to do the Jungle Brothers over. So it was um, Uncle Sam, Mike G, say what? That joined the slam. What is manager Chris? That joined the slam. 5,000 booming watts. Mm -mm. Sound mm -mm. system. State of the arts. Now listen to mine. In the R, Pop E, say what? That nigga's the man. What is manager? Only mm -hmm. thing I left was manager Chris. What is manager Chris and the label the jam? Damn, still man. flossing. So on your watch. Ain't you dudes heard Grammy and every soul? Your right. It's the same yeah. exact thing, different vocals. But let yeah. me ask you, why wouldn't you ever listen to him if he's never been wrong See, but these who? records? Pharrell's been wrong. What the fuck what, you mean? Yeah. What, with you? We just ain't throw it out. Yeah. With you? Yeah. Because I remember that. What was the record that we was in, in L.A.? Uno Mas. When he was telling you to do something, he was like... No, he wanted me to do it in Spanish. And, and to try it out. To try some Spanish. Yeah. I, I couldn't get... I couldn't do it at that nah. time. Nah. Yeah. I mean, I saw, I saw where it was going. Because I, was I felt the way he was coming with it. I understood what the way he was trying to approach yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, it wasn't where I was at at the moment. Like I didn't, I didn't want to do something forced. Got it. Got yeah. It. So be that way, B. All right. Be All that right. way. Niggas made me do. A, <laughs> niggas made me do a song called "You Need Dick in Your Life." Come on, man. All the reason. All Come the reason, on, man. All the reason I like the song. Come on, man. All the reason. Nah, man. Yo, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna edit that out I'm myself. Chill. They made me do this song. They chased me down. They made me do this. And this was an OG call. I ain't got time to the train tracks, but he definitely made me do it. The only reason I respected it and put it on the album is because we got Nate Dogg singing it, and it was like. I feel like that was Biggs okay. who called you. No, 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 no. It wasn't Biggs. Right. It was a Marcy plug. It was a Marcy plug? Okay. What's Hove cousin name? Nah. Beehive. Beehive? Yeah, Beehive. Beehive was my manager. Right. Beehive, yo, that, that nigga the smoothest nigga, boy. Right. That niggas don't know. Beehive kept that, woof. Mm. That nigga was strapped up shouty. Before strapped up shouty ever right. came out, we was out there gooning. Mm. Beehive's another reason saved my life. I got to pay homage, give him his flowers. Without him, mm -hmm. nigga probably be dead somewhere. I remember the nights going on the tours and clubs, after parties, that nigga used to be like, listen, Tonight, we gonna hit him and split him. So I used to be like, what? We ain't hitting and split nothing. I'm chilling. We getting some bitches. Fuck you mean? We out. No, the van, last song, the van will be running. We hitting and splitting them. And you know, I used to be pissed because I was young. He used to grab me and be like, we out. Couldn't get no joints. He used to be like, this nigga was some bullshit. So then when I clipped them, like not clipped them, but like, you know, got different management, moved on, you know, you grow. And then I'm out in the after hours and we shoot shit up, getting shot. At. It's like, hold on, this the shit B.I. used to be like, yeah, hit them yeah. and split them, bleak. We hitting them and split them tonight. Right. <laughs> right. Fact. Right. Like, so, you know, shit like that, I always look back and be like, man, these niggas, right. they paved the way and raised your boy, man. y'all know drink champs wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them giving flowers and celebrating our legends while they can still smell them we have partnered with what the flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives you can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now Love your baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. Yeah. Yeah.
What, what's on Bleak's rider? I don't have a rider. My rider is have my fucking money on time, and I won't crack your fucking skull, but we gonna do my thing. That's it, man. I bring my own. Hit him I, and split him. I book my own flights. I get my own rooms. You ain't Wait sending up. no so goons. So if a wants to book you, they have to, it's all in? All in. All in. I book my own flights. I book my own rooms, and I fly with that strap. So if you right. think you're gonna run down on Bleak, run down on Blizzle prepared. I pray for both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's an honest prayer. <laughs> it's a balance. That's just it, prayer. man. Like, I'm outside, man. I gotta move around. Nori, I ain't in the watch club like you. I heard the Irv Gotti shit. Niggas on the list. Niggas ain't called me that's and Luminati. put me on that's the list. That's only the Illuminati. Illuminati, you see? They ain't called and put me on no, the watch put, list. Don't put that Illuminati shit on me. <laughs> I got that on watch. Yo, I ain't on the watch. It's <laughs> coming. What you mean? You on no, no, watch David. list? No. You talk about you eating with. Who was it? AP? Or a paddock, you was eating with paddock. Oh, with El Diablo. They got, they got my creamer in there. Yeah, you bring <laughs> shit like that, Gotti, yeah. buying APs for yeah. everybody. Because uh, y'all niggas in you a different... You gotta start drinking, you know, coffee with the paddock. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Sangre. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had my man BJ in building too, man. Shout out my man BJ, yeah. that's my dog. But me and you, let's be clear. <laughs> it was a very infamous uh, basketball game in New York City uh, that was supposed to be Jay-Z... Fat Joe, that this it like, never run, happened. It never happened, and then there was this whole turmoil, like Terror Squad against Rockefeller, and one day, Fat Joe calls me. It was because what happened? I had did. A, I believe I did an interview, and you set me up, and you gave Jay my number without Yo. telling me. <laughs> you set me up. You set me up. <laughs> Yo. And by the way, I'm, I'm sitting there and I get a call, but then we, we set this up and then Joe calls me and says, yo, you know, how do you get in touch with um, Jay? And I was like, you don't get in touch with Jay. He gets in touch with you and you got to just accept it how that way it comes. That's a fact. So he was like, yo, but I need a favor. He's like, I got the biggest record in America. I want to put this shit behind us. I want people to know. And I called you. Yeah. And your first thing that you said to me, I remember this like it was yesterday. You was like, hold on, Nori, let me pull over. <laughs> and I was on I the turnpike. I, I, yeah, I didn't know if you was yeah, on the, the I was highway. on the turnpike. I pulled over when you said it. You was like, yo, Bleak, I got to ask you something, man. I don't know if how you going to take this. You yeah. was like, yo, but Fat Joe want to reach out to Hove and get Hove on the record. Right. I'm like, what? Oh, let me pull over. Mm -hmm. Pulled over on the shoulder. Repeat that? And, and I remember about, this is what you said. I, he's like, I saw him two days ago and he had it on. Yeah. <laughs> that was your exact word. You saw him two days ago. Yeah, he was, he was still trying song. to be tough. Yeah. So I was like, trust me, that's my brother. And I, by the way, I had to fully ask Fat Joe before I made that call. I said, oh, listen, this ain't one of those, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And he was like, no, brother. Like, I really want to do this. And I... And then all the way up remix happened. We made that happen, That's please. a fact, man. That's, that a fact. Fact. That's a fact. That's my number. I remember, I remember the call the hove. I and remember then, I texted. But hold on, before you go there, because we, we need your whole story. But how dear Fat Joe shout out Sean Pecas. Oh man, right? Sean Pecas had nothing to do with this shit. Yeah, he had nothing to do with it. Yeah, me and you. That's a fact. I'm sorry, Sean Pecas. I'm sorry. That's a fact. <laughs> Yo, but you yeah. You came later. After me and Bleak made the call, then Pecas came in and, and cleaned it up. Put it in some yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we got we got all the men on bases. Yeah, I remember yeah. when I text Hove. I text him right after I got off the phone with you, because uh -huh. I told you, like I tell anybody, I know the answer to certain shit. But I don't like answering for no man. He got to mm. tell me no. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't care if we going to ask a hundred times. I want to hear no a hundred times. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to assume That's it's real. no. I'm going to ask. That's real right. shit. So I told you that. I'm like, yo, I ain't going to answer for big homie. I'm going right. to hit him and let him know what it is. So I remember saying, I text him. Yo, Fat Joe reached out. I spoke to him. I was on the phone with him and Nori. He right. wanted. Oh, so you wait. Hold on. You got you three got on the phone. Yeah, of course. I had this is yes. real. So you shit, spoke yeah. to Joe. It yes. wasn't just you. And then you brought him on. Yeah. Yes. And then I told him, I'm like, yo, I just spoke to Joe and Nori, and Joe wants you on the remix the all the way up. And he was like, you spoke to Joe with all caps and then <laughs> question marks. Oh, so I put back, yeah, right. just now on the right. phone. Then he called me. It's like, where he called you? I was like, yeah, Minori, man. I was like, man, I think you should do it. He was like, Bleak, you think? I'm like, yo, listen. For the city, the show Unity, it's always been fake bullshit in the right. air with us. It's never been no real drama. Like, what, why not? Like, mm -hmm. you know, it ain't going to hurt. It's only going to help the situation. And then here they go. 
Now they in business doing all these shows. Yes, we yes. need we to say shit. We, we don't, don't get, get shit. I want my two percent. I want my yo. I don't get shit. Niggas just like yo. You all you get is this. All you get is this. Niggas hit you with the daddy shop. Daddy shop. Joe hit me yesterday talking about what's my address yeah. for my sneakers. Nigga, I'm gonna want the sneakers. <laughs> nah, I ain't even get no sneakers. Nah, nah. No, but I'm gonna be honest. Um, that's dope, though. Uh, I felt like I felt like, and I told this to, to to Jay. I had met him in LA one time, and I was like, yo, you know, my one. Jay favor that I kind of had, I gave it away, and I said, my life has been great since then mm -hmm. because no one does that. No one can even get a Jay favor. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. How do you even and, ask him for anything? Mm -hmm. And then, and then I ain't gonna lie to you. He was right there, Roz. He tapped me. He was like, "It's not your one Jay favor." Like I, so I don't know how to use another favor. I don't even know how to ask. I'm just like I, I might just it might just go out because I might not never ask. I might not never because I, I hate being told no, but. I, I love I love the fact um, Yeah, Drink Champs is we need the Drink yeah, Champs. Yeah, no, no, no. She, he tell he tells me no about Drink Champs a lot. <laughs> Yo, but One you thing got about it, him, he's until you learn no in another language yeah, you yeah. never heard. Yeah, Keep yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll be like, I got you. No, it's not absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? But um I absolutely love that connection. I absolutely love um uh uh the fact that Terror Squad and Rockefeller has put that to the side. Because, exactly. Yeah. Um. Did, did Did you see that day happening? I never saw the day of we having beef. It was right. always fake bullshit. Right. Like I always fucked with Joe music, pun music. Mm -hmm. I listen to everybody music. I listen to everything, man. So I I always felt like where did it ever start? Right. So there was never any physical altercations. No. Ever? Yeah. We had drama in the club, bottle fights. The niggas was throwing okay. major bottles. You know what's crazy? I was dead. I was on that actual tour. Yeah. And it was really Tata and Flex. It was the two littlest yeah. people out of because homie group. came. What happened is homie came through our VIP. Rest in peace, Flex. Just stumbling through the VIP instead of saying excuse me, whatever, bumping his way through, and you know, it's like, why? Who are you? So niggas flipped them upside down and sent them back to his section, right. and then it was on from there. Mm. You know, it's regular hood shit, man. You know, right. it was all over nothing though. You know, right. never been no real shit. But it's good now. That's right. They getting money, but they ain't giving us none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to us. They getting money now. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me, let me ask you, because you got, not only that you had a luxurious career for yourself, but you got to see other people come through this machine. Yes. I got to recently deal with uh, one of the brothers, Kanye, mm. right? And it was a roller coaster Yo. from the moment, like I, like I got in touch with him to, to, the, to, the, to the end. Like it was a roller coaster. I knew Ye was gonna be. Time? I knew Ye was gonna be where he at though, man. I ain't know he was going, you know, go where he at now. But okay. the level of success where he was at, man, Ye was ten years ahead of niggas, man. Like wow. he was thinking of shit nobody was thinking of, bro. Like you know what I mean? Uh, it was just inevitable for his success, bro. Right. You see him right now. He walking around with no shoes and socks. That's called too much money. <laughs> I want to feel that. I want that. True. I want to feel that. It's one time, true. right? One eclectic. time. It's too much money. I walk around barefoot with my kunta shit. And so he's, good. he's doing. It. He's grounding. You he's grounding mean? himself. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah. He won with the earth. <laughs> right. You know. I feel him. <laughs> Fuck it. I ain't okay. mad at him. He got a baddie with him. He cool. He chilling. <laughs> yes. Bouncing around a little bit, just in case <laughs> Jewels doesn't want to do verses. Who else would you battle in verses? Anybody who wants smoke. There's no one person I would single out or be like, yo, this one person. Battle Nori? Yeah, me and Nori, he want smoke, it's on. It's I my brother, I love him. Like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love him, but it's smoke, it's smoke. Nah, I, think you I can't write Daddy. a verse about Nori, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, it would just but, be songs. But how about you and Trick Daddy? I think that'll be some smoky. That'll be yeah. good. But first, we got to convince Trick to fly somewhere. Trick don't fly. Now you coming to Miami? You coming to Club Lit? We got to do it in his turf. Oh yeah, you're right. Fucking kidding like me? That. You trying to get yeah. me shot at the same yeah, time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll go to Orlando. <laughs> yeah. No. Still, they bring guns there too. No. <laughs> I play um, spades with Trick. He's a cheating motherfucker. Yo, chill. I thought I was a cheater. Yo, chill. Yo, I thought uh, the, Yo, listen, he chill. made up rules. For As spades. we were going for space, and you know, New York niggas, we know every fucking different Yo, way. No, no diamonds, no diamonds high. We Yo, know every. I feel all that. Nobody is worse than John Manelli. John Manelli holds the crown. That count it? 
Yeah. John Manili. For the wackest spades partner in the history <laughs> of playing spades. We playing against Hove and Kaiser. I forgot. I think it was, yeah, Hove and Kaiser, somebody. And Kaiser had the so, glasses on. Yeah, so we playing. He could see your hands. And this nigga behind. is ri- like, we, we, we grown, my G. He over 30. Mm-hmm. You don't renege in spades. Like, so I'm starting to say, he like, yo, Bleak, it's the strategy. It's a part of the what game. What the Bleak. fuck is the strategy? Let them win? I'm telling him that at the table, yo, bro, you think Hove gonna fire you? Nigga, you playing with me? You my partner. Wait, you wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Time out. You telling me that he reneged for the other Yeah, team? Nah. he was helping and them he win. Nah, man, you think it's not. Nah. On mommy, bro, he was letting them win. <laughs> so I had to get him out of here. Listen, I had to get him out of here. So then I had a girl play that was on my team. Like, one of my joints play. We start smoking them. Oh, flew his mom's in. Moms came. This is when we was going to Africa. Moms came in. Now I can't talk shit. Now I got to keep it all respectful. <laughs> Smoke my boots. I can't talk, you know? Miss Carter and Hove at the table. It's respectful. They what? But before she got there... He know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was um I was beefing with old one time playing around, and I was like, "Yo, I drink more Ace than you." He was like, "Yeah, probably in one sitting." He said, "But through the months, I, I'll smoke you." But then he said, "But B will smoke you," and yeah. I was like, "Damn, this nigga brought his wife in it." Yo, they could drink about, in Texas. I, yeah, they could drink. I heard, I heard Texas Beyonce. Could drink. I heard Beyonce. Yo, I, I'm I can't drink. I'm 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 a sucker. I'm petty. You heard? I gotta mix it. Take a couple shots. I'm acting like I'm cool because we on camera. But when I leave, leave out of here, spaghetti legs. Well, let's take, <laughs> you feel me? Well, let's take another shot. Cheers, that. Cheers. You heard? Let's spaghetti take another shot. Legs, you heard? Spaghetti legs. And just for the people that know, I, I reached out to Bleak because one thing. Um, that I feel that's overrated in this day and time is just friendship, just loyalty. No, that's a fact. And, you know, so many people, so many friends, like sometimes your friend level up and then you see people like, you know, uh, disintegrate. Mm -hmm. You see people start hating on each other. The beautiful thing about it is no matter how, you know, you boss up or Cole boss up, it's still like y'all got that same kind of chemistry that was... Man, first of all, Hove been Hove. Right. So when we came into the game, Hove probably was already five mil up already. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. being in, I'm telling you, the late 80s, a million dollars in the 80s was like having 30 million dollars right. today. Right. So, yeah. And that's what I mean, that he been that guy. It's the same perspective for you. I remember going with Hove and Dane. We was on some tour and we went to the mall. And these niggas just bought belt buckles. No belt. <laughs> There's no belt. Just the buckle, and it was diamonds. It was twenty five thousand dollars for the buckle, and they still had to go somewhere else to buy the belt. And I never seen Hove ever go buy the belt. I never even seen this buckle again. So they spent fifty grand on two buckles. That was the day that said to me, "Bleak, you can't hang with these niggas. Ever. <laughs> you gotta stop. You gotta go back to reality because this shit is like Aladdin's carpet, my nigga. Like, this shit ain't real. Nobody spends 25000 on a belt buckle with no belt. <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? So it was like, yo, you gotta, you gotta go balance this shit out. So, you know, a lot of people be like, yo, Bleak, I don't see you with Hove. You know, your Hove don't fuck with you. Yeah, I don't fuck with me. I gotta, I gotta balance this shit out. I gotta go home and realize... Yo, you got a normal size pool. You don't have 16 pools. <laughs> Hove, House, Hove House has 16 pools. Who the fuck want? I can't clean one. <laughs> 16 of them? You need an army for that shit. Yo, my ni- like, you got to go back, you know? <laughs> Hove is like riding on Aladdin's carpet, and, right. and that shit just never stopped. And it been that way since about 86, wow. where that carpet just been... Remember how happy Aladdin is? He got the daddy... <laughs> He got everything he wants. That's whole life, man. Right, right. <laughs> Yo. 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 
Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the life, Your man. Your analogies are amazing. No, but no. What's, that's what's, what's dope about you is it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. it, it feels like your relationship with him is just the same. Yeah, it's just, yo, you the big homie, and I'm going to always respect that and stay like, no matter how old I get to hold, I'm a little bro. Right. No matter what. No matter what I do, no matter what I accomplish, Ah, that shit ain't about nothing. That's bullshit. Right. Do something else, man. Impress me, bro. Like, uh, I love it because he always, it's never the congratulatory thing. It's always push the envelope, do more, man. Step up. You heard? Like, and I love that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell yeah. Damn, I'm taking another shot. I'm sorry. Chill, man. Thinking. What you trying to do to me, Eno? He just came back. I think that yeah. shit water in there, man. They tricking nah, nah, me. Nah, nah, nah. Take, trust me. Trust me. But he going to do it to his water. Yeah. And I'm going to Lake, how you call it? Lake Como. 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 Yeah, I've been there. They race million dollar boats around a mountain. You know what I mean? Shit, some fly shit. And you got to order the lake from the sea. I mean the fish from the sea. That shit right there, really. Fish from the sea. They like, yo, fish from the sea. Like, we, you like, yeah, we caught it today. Why? Like, oh shit, okay. That's the shit I did at um, uh, Mafia Coast. Mafia Coast, they go in the tank and they pull out the lobster for you. Right oh yeah, there, yep. There. You sent me to the spot. Yeah, you can yeah, blow yeah, it down yeah, in there. That, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right go down, blow yeah. it down in there, you heard? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Word. Like, I ain't gonna lie. You an international nigga, though, Bleak. I remember my wife said to me, because she wanted to go to Dubai, because, you know, I ain't, I ain't really fond on going places you can't smoke. It's right. like, yeah. I'm Dubai, spending cannot, my money to not enjoy myself. So she like, restricted. oh, so we not going to see these places just because you can't smoke? No. So I'm looking at her like, damn, she said it like, I'm a crackhead. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go. We go to Dubai. I died. <laughs> Listen to Not me. smoking? I died. All right. I was there for five days. I thought... Yeah, I could survive. It's cool. I did survive. I smoked cigarettes when I went. It's See, I don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm done. I don't smoke cigarettes. And I went to, they didn't know people like, yo, please go to the hookah bars. It's cool. It was so hot. The hookah bars was like, we can't like the stone. It's too hot. Like, what? Okay. So what I'm supposed to do now? So I'm like, all right, cool. Wifey want to enjoy, enjoy. I'm dying. So we get back to the States. This is the worst thing ever. I land in Detroit. Flights is bad. Weather is bad. They cancel all the flights. We got to drive. So now I'm in the car. Mind you, excuse me. I haven't drunk. I haven't smoked uh -huh. for five days. I go see my man in the D, pick up a pack, smoking on the way back. Like, yeah, I'm lit. Yo, bro, no lie. I probably thought I was Kunta Kente behind the wheel and the KKK was on my ass. That's how paranoid I was. Driving from Detroit to New Jersey. I will never do that drive again. You ride through the backwoods. Don't ever take that yeah. drive. No, nah, this doesn't sound like a good drive. No, it's not. You ride through <laughs> the backwoods of Ohio, it's yeah. bad. It's very bad. Yeah. KKK is. And you're smoking, so. Yeah, and I was paranoid. Yo, it was bad. I did Bali. I did Bali for my man Wetton. But I, yo, it's so crazy. That's Bob, where Russell Simmons at? Yeah, yeah. He, he tucked away out there. Uh -huh. My man got an Airbnb. Yo, <laughs> one of my homies, yo, yo, one of my homies got an Airbnb out there words. too. If you want to tuck yourself too, <laughs> yo, holla at me. We got Airbnbs. You promote worldwide. Airbnbs you get, in Bali right now? They want to get tucked away, baby. Niggas go over there to tuck themselves, not me. But listen, <laughs> Bali, they say they'll kill you by firing squad. Oh, they, if you they bring no, that. they fell out there. And I found the bud out there. I ain't gonna blow the spot out because I don't want him to die. But <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, we is serious out. I got a plug in Bali, you know what I mean? Thailand is off the it's right there. You don't really need it. Just go to Thailand. Thailand you know? is legal. It's everything. Yeah. Y'all yeah, went to the <laughs> pharmacy, my G. No bullshit. I'm yeah, in Bangkok. Thailand? They had the boy girls, right? Yo, listen. The boy girls. A lot of boy girls Let though. me break down Bangkok to you, yo. Bangkok, Bangkok is another fucking world. Yeah. I go to the pharmacy because I got a headache. I need some regular Tylenol, oh, sure. aspirin, Motrin. No, they cocaine. <laughs> they offered everything. They had Molly, Coke, <laughs> mushrooms, in the speed. Yeah, in the pharmacy. They like whatever you want. X, whatever you want. I'm like, lady, I just need... curious. Like, no, I just need... He's like, give aspirin. me one of everything? I just need aspirin, lady. Cool. <laughs> give me that. Then they go to the... She they got boring. blocks out there, man, where it's, it's... It's crazy, man. It's different. Bang. I went with wifey out there, so... It's different. It's like going to Colombia with wifey. It's not the same. <laughs> what you mean? Yeah, no, it's not the same. But it's I, I'm not un I can't unmarry myself. Yeah. So even if I go by myself, what's gonna happen? <laughs> yeah, I don't go to Colombia. Oh. I know certain places you just can't go by yourself. You just gotta like you gotta bring wifey. 
Yeah. You know, because <laughs> animal instincts. I feel like everybody's looking at Haz and Diego. <laughs> yeah. Animal instincts. Huh? Oh, what? Uh, animal I'm instincts, B. Excuse me, guys. Okay, yeah. You want to you use the baffle? No, nah, I'm cool. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, but get- definitely big my picture though. Check it out. <laughs> look, look at my picture this week. Look, this is this is the week before. You know what I'm saying? I got and then, look, I, I, I inspired, by <laughs> inspired by my bro. Inspired by my bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. I didn't even go do that. Nah, you know what's the funniest shit? <laughs> I, 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 I see Nas, and then me and Nas, and we talking, and I just and immediately, I couldn't hold it in. I was like, keep it real. You bit my picture right now. <laughs> and he was like, he said, as soon as I took it, I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> I, I did. I see you take that picture on the ball. I'm like, damn, that's a dope ass shot. I got to go out there and catch one yo, of those. But, yo. But um, what, what, what's your favorite place to, to visit, just to hang out, overseas? Cyprus. 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 Where the fuck is Cyprus at? Cyprus is an island. No, not it's an island. It's an island off of Greece. It's not part of the Greek islands, but, you know, it's an island off of Greece. I got a really close friend out there, my man Sniper. And, like, you know how people say, yo, they run their hood? Right. My man run his country, man. Country. Country. Pick you up as soon as you land. As soon as you land, everything, man. Right. Like... They got to, like, that's like you land in L.A. and nigga like, yo, I own Disney. Pull up. I'm going to shut Disney down for you and your family. They own a major big water Disney? park. Yeah, they own a major big water park out there, like 20 clubs, all the, damn near, every every cabana at the beach is like, so it's like, when once I touch down, bro, it's, we just going Cyprus. on night. Not, Cyprus. We need to go Santorini. And, no. Okay. You go to Santorini, you could do Meek and Nose, you could do all that. But once you touch Cyprus, if you don't know me, you ain't pl- boy. I, uh, Cyprus will turn that shit upside down. And don't get me wrong, Meek and Nose is beautiful. Right. Party, Santorini, beautiful party. They ain't partying like Cyprus, bro. Cyprus, for real. Trust me. My God, man. Phew, I'm telling you, my man Sniper, bro. These niggas is so lit, so up. He sound like he fucking everything. <laughs> I mean, no, nah, he taking his it name down. Is sniper. He, yeah, no, he's he shooting or he fucking. Nah, he's sniping. Or shooting and fucking. Or shooting and fucking. They blow <laughs> shit up out there. They ain't shooting. They sniper. He's sniping shit. Oh, yeah. But listen, these niggas got day and nighttime cars, man. Like these niggas drive white cars in the daytime. What, what are we talking about? What country? Cyprus. <laughs> oh, Cyprus. And then they buy Greece, right? Then, yeah. Then they drive black cars at night. Same exact cars. Like if you got Lamborghinis, G5, G wagons, Ferraris, all that shit in white, then they bring the same exact car at night in black. It's a different kind of paper. Like, yeah, this is my daytime cars. This is my nighttime cars. <laughs> What's Bleak go to weed right now? My own weed, man. What? My <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Is, that it, is that it right there? Your butt's no, 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 no. Oh, okay, Chill. That's okay. it in the bag, but I'm pissed I don't have my bags. I don't oh, know my need shit, man. Put it right here. Don't worry. We setting right. that up. I'm going to have y'all hold me down. You know, I hold y'all yeah, 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 down. Yeah, we got weed. you. 100%. So you know what I'm saying? Who weed is better? Your weed or monogram? Me, man, you out your mind? Come, here, come on, man. They need to holler at their boy, nigga. They know I got that super. <laughs> so monogram should have holler high high bleep. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix everything, man. Blizzle okay. here. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me take a piss, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking up all day. Hold on. <laughs> now, hold up. No, no, we're gonna, we gonna talk some hip-hop shit now. <laughs> Please, take yourself back, 15, 14 years old. You can't say hove. No, yeah, of course not. Who are you listening to? What's the hip hop landscape for you at that point? KRS One, Boogie Down Production at that time, Big Daddy Kane, NWA. Uh, I could definitely say uh, EPMD, MOP, Busta Rhymes. And this is all before you even meet. Yeah, Wu Tang. No, I knew Hov my whole life. From how old? There's no age. Remember, we grew up in the same building. His mother and his sister and my mom's is, was like best friends. You know so you knew him before he was even rhyming? Yeah. I got pictures of Hove back when shit was, you know, shit was good, but it wasn't all good. Yeah, like, yeah. I, it's no, that's like asking, yo, when you met your uncle. Right. That <laughs> you know? close. Yeah, like, you don't know. You just know. Yo, that's Hove, that's Jay. Like. And when did you first realize he's, he's rhyming, he's, he's doing this? 
Besides when jazz, like, anything street. I'm talking about the music part. Yeah, when jazz was shooting videos in the hood and they were shooting videos. Jazz O. Yeah, Jazz O. I remember they had they video premiere on Video Music Box for Hawaiian Sophie jazz video. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Oh, hate that, but it is what it is. And you was there in the video shoot? No, hell no, no, no. Yeah, I was too I young. I was still in the projects, though. man. I was still yeah, in the hood, yeah, but you, you know, you it was shit like that that niggas was into, like. You know, back then, listening to them, um, fuck, Tribe Called Quest, man. What were you talking about? His favorite groups? Just be- Yo, yeah, aside from Hove, Hove, like, what was he listening course, to Mar- as a kid? Beat. Big Daddy Kane? Big Daddy Kane, I said him. Okay. I remember, what was the little homie from Illegal? Ooh. Remember the Malik? rap group? Yeah, I used to listen to him a lot, you know what, what? I'm saying? Jamal, yeah, Jamal, Malik, Jamal, yeah. yeah, like... Used to listen to him a lot, you know what I mean? Like, definitely. Illegal's dope. The Outlaws, Tupac and them, like, I was, I'm, I'm diverse I, in music. I know I touched on it a little bit, sorry. Um, no, 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 I, yeah. I know I touched on it a little bit, but I keep hearing you, like, mention Mob Deep, right? Now, <clears throat> we had Tony Yayo here, and Tony Yayo told us a funny story. He's like, man, I like everybody, but my my man is beefing with everybody, so I can't. He's like, he's like, you don't think I've seen the Diddy parties? You don't think I've seen the Jay-Z parties? I <laughs> yeah. wanted to attend, too. He said, but my man is technically beefing with everybody. Yeah, everybody, yeah. I feel him. Did you, did, what did you feel when um, Prodigy took offense to Jay-Z? I believe Jay-Z said, it's like New York's been soft ever, ever since Snoop came mm-hmm. through and crushed the buildings. And, for, and, and, you know, Prodigy's not here to defend himself, so let's be very careful. I want to be very careful, me personally. But he said that he felt... A certain way about that, and then that's where they little beef turn or um, started. But you being a fan of Mob Deep, how, how, where did that put you at in that situation? I, you know, it is what it is. I'm with my man, whether right or wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, we get home and we discuss the wrongs, but while we outside, we right, baby. Right. Even when uh, we the wrong. Front. So I was on the front line, whatever. But for him to take offense to that line was it didn't make no sense it wasn't directed at you right. he was talking about everybody right. so if that's the case everybody should have all of us this. Yeah, you feel me even me right. I used to talk about nobody stepped up even if you listen to certain diss songs like you listen to the New York New York and the LA LA record nobody dissed each other nobody <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, my idea LA LA is my idea those are the weirdest diss yeah. not diss records yeah, yeah like it was down. no, was no shots no, they were great records but they were yeah. not diss yeah. records yeah. you know I'm gonna be honest with you when um, Stretch Armstrong came to, 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 to tell us to, it was a bad boy mixtape mm. and we what it was is my friend Chaz um, from Left Rack City uh, well, he's from Brooklyn but he lived in Left Rack City and he played me it was something called a DJ list and it was a, like, you know, on DJ list, it'd be two months in advance. So he played yeah. me. He was like, you think they dissing us? And the only part I could kind of feel like they was dissing us. To the slang part. When he was saying, yo, God, yo, B. <laughs> like in the beginning, they're saying, yo, God, or yo, maybe, B. Maybe it wasn't, I mean, you you never spoke to them about it, asked them if it was a diss? Nah. I mean, we yo, had Snoop. But, we had Daz and Corrupt. We uh, talked about these oh, records. I never asked But it, was never, it never seemed like a diss you know record. Like you know why? The I'm first honest, one was never a diss. I'll be honest. It was Corrupt, the video that looked a little Corrupt crazy. Corrupt is so far like in that he's like, yo, we never really we did that. And I can't really... I can't really say that I believe that. I mean, I, as a friend, I believe him. But, like, even when Snoop says... Oh, the East Coast don't got love. Uh, 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 yeah, East Coast Snoop. don't got love. Snoop there was Dog. a little bit of malice in there. Might have not been like you know, like he's saying, "Yo, fuck New York," but he was just like, "Yo, y'all supposed to love me." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm the like, hottest thing. Yeah, I'm the hottest thing really. moving. Like you know what I mean? Um, even the do I go back on on the music? Like this man, man, to give mm-hmm. him his respect, man. Mm-hmm. Like that's the reason why he got the call to be on my first album because. War Report album, man. Okay. I don't think you okay. understand, okay. my it's man. Not, it's not my interview. Don't like, be on me. Nah, he doesn't. Nah, he doesn't nah, understand. Nah. Nah. Nah, I don't think you true. understand, bro, yeah. how, how pivotal that album was. I Thanks. hustled to that album. I woke up, went outside with my... These was the radio days where you made sure you had batteries for yeah. the box or the block. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that album Panasonic. Was, that album was a staple yeah. of hustling. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like, take another shot, goddamn. Like, you, you, hell yeah, you man. Bunk, you bunk it here, Blee. That one, so I man. I got to say something real quick that goes to the war report thing that you're saying. Oh, fuck. And I told him this. I told you that, that I saw something with Souls of Mischief talking about it. I think that you don't understand because you equate maybe record sales with 
what the level uh, a record may have gone, but War Report was renowned in the streets. It was you, dubbed. People were recording that. People were I'm gonna blame you around. for something, and you ain't gonna like me. <laughs> what? You brought Bloods to New York. Coño. <laughs> you was the first person to ever mention it. Lo jodiste todo, bro. On that album. Cámate, loco. No. On that yeah, album. Yeah, you know what? On that it, album, a, that was the first time I ever heard about it being in that, I'm not, on the I'm island not, or anything. I'm not I was sure like, oh, shit. If I should say this, but I'll, I'll say it. OG Mac told me that. Yeah. One of the first people that, he, um, he, he showed me the War Report cover where it wasn't even the vocals. You know what it was? It was the um, dog chains. Mm. On the dog chains, we said Thug Blood. Mm. And they ran with that. The, yeah. dog tags? the dog tags. I said dog chains. It was dog tags. Yeah. Yes. If you look at you go look at the War Report. Yeah. Yeah. Zoom like, in it was on the that. first time I ever heard about it. Says Capone, it. And you were saying. 41st, 12th Street. Then it says Nori 97 30. And then it says Thug Blood. But we was, we was like saying the screen with 031 and all of yeah. that. It was like, we yeah. ain't never hear none of those terms. And, then, and if, you, if you think about yeah. it, if you think about it, if you go really to depth, people started using that. And then I started using Slime and then the Bloods adapted right, that right. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, you it's know, something. we got to take, you know, we here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I would have never thought East Coast would be banging Yo, anything. You. Like, this shit is, I know West Coast people that come to New York right now, I'm like, this is New York? <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. you would have like, thought that? I'd have never thought it. You know Especially what I'm saying? Brooklyn. Brooklyn got crips. You kidding me? Brooklyn is, nah, it's bigger than that. They got all type of gags now. Flatboys, just all type of shit. They got really? niggas, it's everything now, nigga. You kidding me? If you three deep now, you better not call yourself a gang. Rico coming. You better mm. chill. Niggas better calm down. All that gang, gang. We ain't no gang. We friends. Right. We ain't even a crew no more, right. nigga. Fuck yeah, crew's that. a problem. <laughs> we ain't even crew's crew. Rico worthy. Yeah, we just friends, nigga. They police go, what do you, that my friend, dog. <laughs> that we, my friend. We individuals that know each other. <laughs> Word up. That my friend. Right. Holy <laughs> shit. Damn, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get into some music. All right, hold on. I got mad notes. Ooh, okay. And we asked about coming to age. Ooh. So oh, shit. What happened now? <laughs> what happened I now? This. I swear to God, this is the first thing, one of the first things people told me. By the way, I hate this rumor. I just want you to dead it real fast. What happened? As soon as I said, you got questions from Miss Bleak. One person said, why did they let young Chris, they, did let, they let Jay-Z still young Chris style. Yo. Why does this rumor even exist? I don't know, man. It's just like the rumor Gilly wrote for Wayne. Right? I always want to know this, right? If a person is the originator of something and someone comes to you and take your recipe for something, why didn't that recipe work for you then? Mm. Right? Right. Like, why did it work for you? Like, if right. my grandmama got the sauce, I don't care you come take the recipe. We gonna just be cooking the same shit. So you're not gonna cook better sauce than me off my recipe, if it's my recipe, right? Right. It just makes no sense, so. Right, yeah. So, I, if somebody could take something from you that you consider yours and become more successful than you or yours, then you just, we should package you up. And you know what we should call you? Jerk sauce. <laughs> <laughs> he's he said that was a serious ass face. You feel me? <laughs> did he look in the camera? Yeah. Like he looked right in the camera. Yo, and did just, that. just real shit. Package it up, baby. <laughs> Jerk sauce. But, but I, I, you know, I, I, I attribute that rumor to people who are not really, really fans. People who didn't, Chris you know, is listen super to Re nice. Reasonable Doubt. Chris is super nice, right? Yes. But come on, man. Hope put up five million before we even knew who these kids were. Right, so right. he never even sold five million records again. So he stole something from you and never became more successful than he ever was. When he didn't need you to steal something from you, it doesn't right. make it doesn't make sense. Make it math, make it add up to me. Like Chris is major nice, right? But come on, Hove still in your style. It's a lot of other styles he could have stole. Because you think about it, you want to think about it. Source Money was super nice. The Rangers, Wise and Dark have. Right. Mega nice. You right. fucking kidding me? If any style, I'd have stole half style. Give me that. 
<laughs> Who's that? Half, dog half from okay. the Rangers. Like, okay. the niggas was super nice. Like, you know, we had a lot of people that came around and and, and you just still sharp and still. I feel like Chris has gotten better from being around the dogs and of course. everybody has gotten better from being around each other. Yeah. Baseline was a melting pot of competition. It was only two rooms and it was about 10 different artists. Right. So it was like you couldn't get a room if you wasn't spitting that shit. Right. Mm. For you to get one of them rooms, you had to be on that shit. Mm. Mm. Simple. I would have had a room. <laughs> <laughs> Said the hell of company. <laughs> No, no jerk sauce for you. <laughs> I'm in the jerk sauce too. I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, um, but let's talk about murder, murder. That record. Mm-hmm. With you and uh, you and you and uh, it's Jay. two different versions of that record. Murder, murder. Out. Yeah, it's two different versions. There's one on the album and there's one on YouTube. The original first version of that, we was getting that jail felony. Because he was talking, he had made a diss song about us or something. And that's oh, he was on Def Jam too? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I said, Jail, you're not a felon, you're a misdemeanor. And then they had leaked that record. And then, you know, we went and did it over. So that's why if you hear the one on my album, that's why Hov say, niggas go leak the record, man. We got to switch the lyrics on these niggas. Niggas win that jail felony. Y'all some petty niggas. I'm yeah, we was on some bullshit. I I'm told you. Anybody, jail was South Central Cartel, right? That was anybody a was getting it, man. We was on some shit. If you threw a shot at us, we threw a, ma- a truck at you. It was all that. Yeah, because I remember y'all went at Mino. He went at Mino. I don't even know who the fuck <laughs> Mino is. No, he was like, um, he's from Harlem World. Yeah, I know. All I knew was Blinky Blink. Because I remember when I got hit by the car and broke my foot, Blinky Blink was the first nigga. Like, yo, you all right? It's like, yeah, I'm good, dog. <laughs> Where at? Where did in he Miami, ask, uh, on Collins. Oh, the not cat. on MySpace or nothing. No, no, no. Okay. He was MySpace. right there on the street. Yeah. So yeah. You got hit by a car, broke your foot. I'm on the scooter And Blinky ride. Blink was on the first scooter. nigga. The first <laughs> nigga next to me. Like, yo, Blink, you all right? <laughs> and all I remember is John in my head talking about, nigga, you ain't want to battle Blinky Blink. So I'm looking at this nigga like, nigga, get the fuck away from me, nigga. I'm good. <laughs> different, <laughs> different times. <laughs> so, but... Jay, he went at, he said, didn't they shoot your, your ass Niggas out of a over. cannon? Bro? Oh, yeah, in the video. Yeah, that was disrespectful. I'm very disrespectful. About who? About who? Over rovers. About Mino. He said, uh, Niggas turning over rovers like they wanted with Hover. This the illest line. It ain't about Rich and Poe. Like, it's about Rich and Poe. No, like, chill. That's it. Chill. And then he killed Mace with the, um... What was he saying? Rolex diamonds? What the fuck you done of that? Yeah, that's bad. It's bad niggas still do that. Yeah, niggas are still doing that. Yeah, it's bad. It's disgusting. I right. see certain people, I'll be like, ew. <laughs> Can't even go in the Rolex store with that. They won't even clean that. Yeah, they won't clean it. No, they won't even touch it. You yeah, should be embarrassed. Yo, that's real. You should be embarrassed to have a watch that the maker won't even touch it. That's disgusting. When I was young, I was on that shit. The young boys, listen. Let me be clear. <laughs> if you 30 and under... You 35 a, and under. You get a pass? You 35 say? and under. 35 and you under. You get a pass. How you put five more years if on that? If you older than 35 <laughs> yeah. and you wearing 36, a 36, you an old man. That's yeah. not officially from the from, maker? Yeah. Urgh. Yeah. Chop your wrists off. Mm. <laughs> Throw it away. Who you impressing? Because <laughs> real women out here, they know. That shit not it, Captain. That's Captain Crunch. That's not Captain. <laughs> they did a a, a a a a shit on women in Mykonos, and and that's all they do is they they'll talk to a man with a good watch. Yeah, that's they yeah. be on that. They ain't on that that bust down niggas. That shit impress. Yeah, shit impress Keisha. That shit, <laughs> shit, shit do not impress Maisha and them. <laughs> Yeah. And my, and my Asian <laughs> that was a layup, and that, that that I feel I feel like I was gifted that record. You know what I'm saying? Like I remember getting a call because Jay, I think he released that record on Volume in my lifetime, Volume Two, but only for the UK. Mm-hmm. And, and the song did so well that he was mad he never put it out US. That he called me, yo, bleak, write two verses to this shit, and we gonna shoot a video to it. And I'm like, it had the hook. So the original, you weren't on the original then? No. 
Like, that's the... I was telling niggas an ill story. So I shoot a... I do a song with Missy, shoot a song, video with Missy, and I never met Missy a day in my life. Still? Yeah, still to this day. I never met Missy. Ever. You're not in the video together? No, no scene in the video. Are we together? I was today years old. <laughs> Word, I never I met I swore her. y'all was in the video together. Nope, not one scene. I would bet. Fuck. Nope, never met her. Yep, she came to the video so late that I had left already, and then, you know, she. Was, I never got a chance to meet her, bro. Word. Wow. Yeah. Okay, switch it up. Do my ladies run this month? Oh I felt like y'all God. was cheating. Because I hated that you, beat. You know, you know the crowd's gonna go crazy. When you I hated, hated that, that beat. beat. You hated the beat? I hated it. That's Timberland the two, right? No. No, that's um the, this kid that we ain't gonna say his name because he tried to sue niggas, but yeah, I hated that beat. I ain't even want to do the beat. Nah, that record was dope. And Hove was Hove the one who said it to me. Like, yo, boy, you bugging, you don't hear that? And I'm like, hear what? He like do my leg, and once he said that, it was like okay, I fucking hear it. Because that chant Let's works go. everywhere. That chant yeah, works yeah. everywhere. It was like you gonna say that part too, right? Let's go <laughs> shoot that. We got it. I, I hear exactly what you hear, my nigga. I exactly. feel you. <laughs> go with it. Go with it. Yeah, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Word. Holy shit! <laughs> we don't want to hear the god name. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that beat. You know, I didn't want Memph Bleak is either to come out oh, first. Oh, that's my next question. Memph Bleak is. But you yeah. didn't want it to come out first, you're saying? We didn't even have the record. It didn't even exist. Because what was the single off that album? What You Think of That was supposed to be the first single. What you think? Okay. But this is the politics of the industry. The people who we had to clear the sample through didn't clear the sample until Hove put his verse on it. Oh my God. So we couldn't shoot the video. So then that's why you see me on the plane on Hard Knock Life with Lenny S. Like, this what you got to go through. Niggas trying to kill me on that propeller plane leaving <laughs> Buffalo, almost dying to fly home to do the record with Swiss. And we did Memph Bleak is. And I remember we went to Summer Jam and Ho was like, yo, this is going to be the first thing you got to perform it. And I'm like, Ain't nobody gonna fucking say my name. They don't even know who the fuck I am, yo. I was so nervous, like, hey, no, hell no, we can't put this out first. They don't even know me. They gonna say my name, and then it worked. They used to have me in the skate key in the Bronx every weekend. I was like, oh, we lit. The bleak is, bitch, we lit. <laughs> uh, all right, sorry to bounce around, but this is this famous footage. Uh, Rockefeller the backstage, and you got on a Def Jam jacket. Oh, that jacket started some drama. <laughs> Was that the shit with Kevin Lyle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that jacket started. You got on a Def, and you actually, you actually being a good person. <laughs> yeah, you actually. I didn't being, mean no harm. You didn't mean no harm. No. You were just young and really didn't and remember, know. Remember, Def Jam is iconic, bro. Yeah. Everybody had those records in their house with that Def Jam. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's an iconic thing. Well, I remember yeah. your Pacific line that you said. You said. Yo, well, Rockefeller ain't <laughs> give me a jacket. <laughs> Dave is standing next to you. He's as red as that shirt because he doesn't want to stop you. <laughs> but he's sitting back like, bro, <laughs> Def Jam ain't <laughs> paid for none of this but that jacket. Yo, <laughs> like, I think a day with the Kevin of that very next scene, boy. That started, shit was wild. You started some shit. <laughs> that was on some bullshit back then. Yo, damn, man. I ain't know the ramifications of all that shit back then, man. I apologize, Kev. Anybody, if I ever got you in some smoke, I did not mean to. I was just happy to be there, man. You know what I'm saying? They just gave me a jacket. I thought you was being a team player. Def Jam, Memphis, Bleak on it was like. Your name? You was pointing that out. It, he was like, bitch. He was like, Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they was like, yeah, they go off with their head. You bought these motherfucking jackets <laughs> on this tour. This is a Rockefeller tour. You got everybody thinking it's Def Jam. Yo, right. he went no. hard. No, it was real because Yo, a lot of people... You can't be mad at Dame for that either, though. He Yo. wasn't wrong. It was uh, his expression. He was fighting yeah. for the brand. For the yeah. brand. He was looking at me like... It was his delivery. Motherfucker. Right. No, of course. His delivery yeah. seems he to be... He was looking at me like, you little motherfucker. <laughs> no, but listen, and in retrospect now, looking at it, you like, damn, Bleak was too young. Yeah. To actually understand Yo, it. I was just happy to be there, man. We were so hurting back then, like uh. fucked up. I remember the day Hove told me, Yo, you wanna go on tour? And I'm like, Yeah, who can I bring with me? And that nigga said, Yo, you can only bring one person. 
I think I got beef with a hundred people because of that decision. Right. I sat on the bench in my projects for probably like three days, just looking at everybody. Like <laughs> Who could come with me? <laughs> Out of all these niggas that I call my friends, who I'ma take with me on tour was one of the hardest decisions in life. Yeah. And I swear, I feel like a hundred people was like, fuck it, you could ask me too. <laughs> Who did you wind up bringing? My bro, B.I., man. Okay. Uncle B.I., that's my bro, Who man. Who wind up being hoes? No, 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 no. Oh, no. That's B.I. Oh, B.I., I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, B.I. Okay. is my guy. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? But they from the same same area, so it's almost okay. the same. How many, <laughs> how many relationships have that got ruined because people wanted to, to get at your home? I think every one of them. Because wow. people meet me with the expectations because they think me and Hove grew up with the relationship like, yo, we hung together. But they don't understand me and Hove have the relationship you have with your uncle. Right. Don't fucking hang with your uncle. <laughs> right, don't right. call that nigga. You see that nigga on Thanksgiving. Oh, what up? Right. Oh, That's... you good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You check in with Unc time to time. Right, right. That's that, like that's what it is. Like <laughs> you know, I check in with the big homie, but he ain't checking for my young bullshit. <laughs> Them niggas out there eating flowers and all dirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in and out with shit. The niggas like bleeding. He's ah, uh, he's eating animals. You know they probably, you know they probably don't want that shit around. Like I'm on that young hood shit still. I'm, I'm clean a little bit, right. but don't get fooled. <laughs> Cause Yayo, we had Yayo here. And Yayo was like, there be times he invite his friends to come see him, and his friends would move him out the way to go get a picture with Fifty Cent. Oh, that'll I never happen. <laughs> that'll never happen. It'll be a head on the floor. I rub your head on the fucking rug real quick. You'll get carpet burn instantly. Right. You, what are you? <laughs> Cause the one thing about you, I can see every year, is you in the Rock Nation brunch with your crew. Oh, yeah, yeah. I make sure we got our passes. We good. I tell niggas, you know, got to be with the house, baby. Or, you know, <laughs> I be seeing niggas. Yo, that's the foulest part of the what, shit. What when you what? see niggas at that brunch to pick outside? up their tickets. No, oh. not outside yet. This is at the, or when they gather to get their envelope. Mm. And niggas envelope. And everybody like, envelope. Like, like, okay. <laughs> yo, bleak. Like, I don't know nobody, blood. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got mines. You ain't got yours? Damn, man. Oh, so you saying they, they people be out there trying yeah, to get you to trying get them in the heavens, though? Trying to get their envelope loaded up a little bit more, but <laughs> their envelope don't be right. <laughs> trying to get loaded up. A lot of niggas be leaving their wives in the room, and I always oh. say, I ain't gonna lie, that's some major sucker shit Damn. to me. If you fly somewhere, right? And my wife can't get in, I'm not going, bro. 100,000%, man. Me and wifey, it's over. If you leave your wife in the room to go be around some, use a, like I said, package you up, jerk sauce. <laughs> <laughs> package it up. I'm about to put a couple niggas' faces on these packages. We're going sell. to start selling bleak jerk, jerk sauce in here. Sauce. I love it. Word. Package these niggas up. Because niggas be leaving wifey at the, yo, babe, you got to stay in the room. Like, what? Do it for the culture. <laughs> that ain't the culture. That's doing it for, I don't know. So there's a wifey room at the Rock Nation one? No, ain't no like wifey, wifey room. room. Wait, even at the hotel. Oh, ain't like no the wifey. Hotel. Yeah. Nasty. Oh, that's nasty. Nasty with to it. To get you a know? flick with Hove. Some of them don't even get flicks with Hove. They don't get no flick with Hove. I be seeing him like this, walking in like yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> yo, listen. Yo. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that that, that yo, Hove man, damn, that nigga Hove is just, he's the greatest, man. Like, he's just the GOAT, man. Like, it's one party where everybody is chilling. Right. Everybody mingling. Yeah, you mingling, you doing your thing. Yeah, $100 million deal last week. Word, bleak, yo, you made, yeah, $20 million last week. Yeah, I'm shooting a movie. Hove walked through, he's like, bleak, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Like, damn, my nigga, we like, what happened? Finish the convo, baby. Like, I'm sorry, I gotta take a shot for that. I'm sorry. Niggas be I'm over sorry. there, man. That I'm whole sorry. shit. Cheers, cheers, cheers. At that whole train. Mm. Oh. How about Michael Rubin? You been to Michael Rubin shit? Mm -mm. You ain't get mm -mm. invited? I ain't get invited neither. I ain't got enough money. I don't wanna go. I, I want to go. What is I'm, that? What is that? It. I don't know what that is. For the layman. I'm Michael a competitive. It's the white party that. I'm going to tell y'all. All that other. For the public. We're, we're Carlos. I've seen Carlos out here. We're voting we're vote in the building. We're Carlos. We're he, he the building. I'm a competitive hater. All right. 
Oh yeah, he got a job. I'm a competitive talking. hater. I don't want to be at no fucking party. Everybody, hundred million. <laughs> no, I gotta get. Let me get in the ten million bracket first. <laughs> then I go <laughs> with everybody. Right now, my hugs are gonna be serious. Why they dead ass like laughing and joying? I'm like <laughs> hurting. Like nah. Everybody in there with Richies. I got Rolly. Nah, don't belong in there. No, you gotta know your bracket. It's cool to my niggas. I fuck with everybody in there. I love everybody in there, but. You just gotta know that ain't for me. Let me go shut down my section. But the brunch is like that though too. The brunch is cool. It's Rollies in there. And it's with the big board is, bottles of Ace. It's Rollies in the brunch though. It's it ain't Rollies. just yeah. It it's ain't just, just Rich and Rich. Millies and shit. Yeah, Paddocks and APs like you. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't, you know? They gonna throw me out there. What you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas in Carbone and shit. Yeah. You heard what Drake said? Yeah. Got to they- tell Shorty it's a chill night. Yeah. Stay at home. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shit foul. <laughs> exactly. It's out of two of them niggas that can't get reservations to call ball. Yeah. <laughs> All you niggas. You know what I'm saying? Out there. Elite. It's only elite few. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Glad I, I'm glad I got good elite friends. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite part of the game? Was it making a record or performing a record? Equal. Equal. I never Equal. had this answer. I don't think we had this. No. I think he equal. said both. We got a drink. Because create. No, we got a drink. We got to take a shot. Nah, I'm not taking another shot. I'm out. Just pour your drink no, no, in there. No, no, you, 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 you pour us. Us. You pour us. You pour us. Yeah, yeah, you said this both. This is my last one, by the way. This is my second to last one, by the way. Mm. No, because I've never. We've been asking people this this question for this whole time. I've never had somebody say both. Can you explain that? Creating something from scratch. It's a beautiful thing to me. Hell yeah. You know, to create something, your thoughts, with another, the producer, he creates something from scratch, from thin air, right. a beat. You create a rhythm, sound to that beat, and then to make people relate and sing that tune back to yeah, you. It's magical shit. It's magic. Like, yeah. You know, that's like one of the hardest things to do. Like, you could cook food. People could say, hey, that food is nasty, that food is good. Music is like, you got to convince people twice. A person have to like it and then like it well enough to buy it. Right. You can like a song, but you don't want to buy it. You know, it's a lot of right. songs you hear, you like, oh, that shit cool. Right. But then the songs you hear, like, nigga, I need to hear that when I need to hear it. So right. that that's what I feel is the creative process that I love about it. And then when you get to the show to see the response to that creativity, right. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, bro. It's nothing like it. Well, yeah. the buy it now is the show because they're not buying records anymore. People buying it. If you listen to, I just was in the studio just now out here, right? And this kid, I see why NBA Youngboy is the king of YouTube. This kid fell asleep with NBA Youngboy constantly playing. Like, and was literally dead ad just now. The way I'm wow. taking video of him and everything. Like, yo, my man, he dead ad, but NBA Youngboy banging. So, you know what he gonna wake up and do? Mm-hmm. Clip, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, I'm laughing, but no. that ass, man, that the streams add up. Right. We live in a world like I said this the other day, man. Shout out to Tag Stone, you know. He he said something to me the other day that's real. Hate make people successful. We live in a world where hate can get you a check. Right. But people can literally well, not fair. like something. Laugh at it yeah. and get you a check. Like you watch a YouTube video like the Island Boys. People laughed at that. But you streaming and you sending that to your man, look at this, look at this, ha ha he 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 he. You laugh them boys into a check. Right. Cause them streams add up. You feel so me? They so they kiss each other, they got whether, real. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know about and that. motherfuckers are still laughing them into a but check. But this is what I'm saying. Which is niggas, terrible. All of even if terrible. you don't like something, the more you watch it, you just giving them boys a check. So if you yeah. really don't like something, you have to turn it off. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? If you right. really don't like it, right. Cause if you you can hate a nigga into a check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight well, up. Motherfuckers are too addicted to social media and all the yeah. algorithms. But, but, they'll like the motherfuckers <laughs> they don't like. Into a check. But let's talk about your new artist, that, um... Huey you, V? Yeah, so... Yeah, man, my man Huey V. Shout out to Young Goat. Yo, they on the Puma tape right now. Just released Humble Souls. Shout out to the OG Emery. Emery, all the he, had him, he had him in um, New York and L.A. Yep. Uh, performing at the Rock Nation events. Yep. getting everybody together. You know, we got a lot of new artists. You know, you know, I just... Uh, I had a conversation with... You know, Omar Grant, president of Rock Nation, and I told him, you know, I wanted to come on and be like sort of like an A&R for Rock Nation just to help. Why wouldn't you? The talent. You know, I wanted to be like the Elizo Morning to the Heat. 
Mm. You know, you dying this Haslam, you know? That yeah, OG, man. you need that yeah, on that team. I feel like yeah. a lot of these young boys, if they had that on their team, they wouldn't be doing all this nonsense they do. You know, you need right. an OG. A lot of people try to take you to the top of the mountain and they never been they self. So right. it's like, how can you give me directions to a place you never yeah. been? A lot of people give you um, directions on a marriage that never been married. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I want to come on that. And I feel like we got a lot of talent. We got Huey V, RJ, Tyreek. We got a real talented kid, Ruben Vincent from NC. Shout out Guru, Ninth Wonder. That's they artists. We got Johnny Coco from Texas. Mm. No, it, it's, it's, it's unlimited talent on Rock Nation. And I feel like I want to bring that talent to what it need to be. You know what I'm saying? Emma Reed done set it off with the Puma tape, Humble Souls, that's out right now. Check them young boys out, boy. I'm telling you, that's the future. And I, I'm sorry, because I brought this up earlier, but I got off the subject. But you did a record with Rihanna early. Did you know that Rihanna was going to be the next billionaire? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck a billionaire. I knew she was the <laughs> baddest I ever saw in my life. I remember when Rihanna was in the office, and they like, yeah, bleak, we just signed her. I look, who? Huh? Barbados. I fucking love her. All right. Like... <clears throat> Word, I remember hey, saying Mr. it. Hey, Mr. DJ song upon oh, the no, DJ. No, no, no. Wait, wait, so you listen, remember seeing her that, that first time? That first time, it was like, she's the baddest thing I ever saw in my life. Oh, my God. Where y'all find her at? Yo, nice to meet you, shorty. Have a good day. <laughs> Word. And it was over from there. <laughs> but who was the other girl that was also signed to rock? Oh, the Tiara thing? Marie. Tiara Marie. She better get 50 that check. <laughs> Nigga, 50 want that bread? <laughs> on you. <laughs> 50 on oh, that check. Gone, 50 worse than the IRS, man. He the worst thing. <laughs> Yo, he the worst thing to owe some money, man. He chasing you down. That nigga got on his A6 tied tight like a Central Park jogger. And he chasing you down for that bag. So let me ask you. Aliens come down right now. They here. Let's holler, baby. They here. They out here finger popping shit and everything. But they only I come to New York. Place. Yo, they only come to America. Let's talk about that. They don't go to Spain? They don't go nowhere else. They only come to America. Why they only see them over, over America? They ain't never spotted nowhere else. The niggas like, yeah, I seen them in San Francisco. I never been LA. there. I seen them in New York. You ain't never Oh, you know that. why? You know why? I'm comparing to Chupacabra because Chupacabra is in South America. <laughs> what the? Yeah, Chupacabra is in South America. The niggas out there, they on that yoink yoink. <laughs> they on that yoink yoink. Yeah, yoink. Chupacabra started in Puerto Rico and then it went to South America and it went to. But the aliens is here, right? The aliens is here. Holla they at come me. down, they're like, yo, Bleak, what's going on? You like, what's up, nigga? Holla at me, my G. And we the aliens out here. say, I want one rap album to describe humanity to me to under so I can understand what's going on. Can I be biased or outside of my crew? I want both. I want biased and outside. So you want two answers? Yes. Fuck. All right. You a special nigga. My first answer I would give them is a two, is a double is a double CD. I, they mean, gotta have two CDs. I they mean, gotta play it like a double. I mean, the aliens got, don't know. Remember? Yeah, they don't know. They, they gotta they, play to the death because they gotta know shit real. Get your guns, nigga. Shit real. Blah, 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 blah. It's All the, that. It's the album to the Yeah, okay. M.O.P. Okay. Then they got to play Don Cartagena, Fat Joe. You know what I'm saying? They got to play Don Cartagena. M.O.P. And Don Cartagena. Don Cartagena. And then they locked in. They ready. Okay. They can mingle with Earthlings. Okay, okay. <laughs> they can mingle with Earthlings. Oh, I, I, I feel me. that. That's a great fucking answer. You know what I mean? Dog yeah. Cartagena, they didn't know. Like, mafioso shit, yeah. let's get this money. Right. We know how to shoot. Now mm. it's time to get money. Let's go mm. mingle. Mm. Now I want the bias. They got to listen to Reasonable Doubt, man. You know what I'm saying? Reasonable Doubt tell you, listen, we get fucking money, nigga. Big money. We selling bricks. We got That's yay. That's it? You don't got two? Because you had two the last time. Yeah, I have Reasonable Doubt. Uh-huh. And then I would give them Philadelphia Freeway. The first one. Yeah, the Philadelphia Freeway album, the first one. Good. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Reasonable doubt in Philadelphia Freeway. I'll give them Illmatic. Uh, I heard that answer. I didn't want to give it twice. I heard that. <laughs> okay, okay. I watched that episode. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Yo, you're right. I tune in, baby. Right. <laughs> and you, you know what's crazy? I always say this. I don't know if you caught this, but I'm going to say I'll say it again. 
Reasonable doubt went over my head because I had no bread. When we mm-hmm. used to he always says this. I had I, I couldn't relate to like the money talk. That's not true. No, this nigga don't know. I hated him for a minute. <laughs> oh yeah. Listen, <laughs> we was in front of this is when we had 17 Varick Street. Okay. Chilling. We had the buggy eye bins. I remember they let me drive Varick. it. Yes. They let me drive it. I'm like, yeah, I'm lit. Every time they let me drive it, mysteriously, it was raining. They never let me drive it on a sunny day. It's always raining when I get the keys to the car. It's your luck. It's all good. <laughs> so one day, we outside in front of the hotel. I mean, in front of the office. And they like, yeah, Nori pulling up. And I'm like, all right, cool. And no pulling up. This nigga pulled up in two new GSs. Silver joints. Buggies. Yeah. yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> Just know that. <laughs> I went out there and said what's up to him and all that. Yo, what up, my nigga? You good? But in the back of my mind, fuck this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> But word, I was hating. It was what? friendly hate. I was what? just like, I gotta, I gotta do this too. I gotta do this too. And but, he can't be the only one. Yeah, but just think about what he's saying. That's still 1998. <laughs> Reasonable doubt came out in '96. Yeah. So in '96, I couldn't like, I I give this to Trash, and I always want Trash to know this. Yo. Trash actually <laughs> in '96, 1996, he asked me to stop selling drugs. He told me to stop completely everything. He said, give me, a, give him a year. Shout so I stopped to, from the end of 1996 to the beginning from the beginning of 1997 to, to up to there. So I actually didn't have nothing. So when the, when Reasonable Doubt came out, I would listen to that like, damn. And he would be talking about shit that I was just like, holy shit. Yeah. So then when I started getting legal money, I came back and I went. I was like, this yeah. he just oh, over he, my head. Yeah, he was he was yeah. way over everybody had. I told you the story about tragedy them though in Miami when I seen you right. Yes, you did. You could tell it again. Trav's <laughs> gonna have to be mad, but forget. Yeah, he's my brother. Beef, I love him. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Beef, yo, I was looking for Trav with your 80 niggas out here, man. Yeah, he was looking through everybody. Yeah, yeah. I didn't and, even he hit in your room. Yo, I didn't even know this nigga. <laughs> and that was the illest shit. I only knew him because he did a record with me. We never hung together. I didn't know tragedy. But you know who I knew? Supreme. Mike Geronimo. Oh, and he had that's Supreme who he was with. No, he ain't have Supreme. It was just Mike Geronimo and fucking Trav. Okay. So I'm standing in front of Lowe's. Right. First time in Miami. I have no right. clue what the fuck is going on. Right. I see Mike Geronimo run up on me. Because mind you, right. we was, we well, don't What year is this? Like 98, 99? 95. Nigga. Oh, it's like 95, no, 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 It's 97. It's 97. Yeah, okay. like it's early years, oh, bro. The time no, the you beat. with me, motherfucker. No, I know, so, I know. Yeah. So listen. You had me do some crazy yeah, shit, too. So <laughs> Mike Geronimo run up on me. Yo, bleak, yo, bleak. Yo, we need to hide this nigga. So I'm like, hide who? <laughs> he like tragedy. Nori and them looking for him. So I'm like, tragedy to God? I thought they was down. How they got beef? He like, I don't know. It's some long story. So I'm like, it's a long story. I'm like, I right, take my room key. Go upstairs in the room. I'm standing at, I'm standing at the lows. We stand right in front. Now in my mind. I haven't seen Nori this whole fucking week. Oh, we in front weekend. of Lowe's. <laughs> no, you wasn't there okay, yet. Okay, okay, all right. I'm like, wh- why you come to me? I haven't seen Nori this whole weekend. Yeah. So we stand out there chilling. Not even 10 minutes go by. <laughs> what pull up? A militated <laughs> tour bus. Oh, that was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what we yeah. did the, the, the show. Yeah. Yo, so I'm like, yo, did God Impact send me, yeah. like, is God sending me a message? So, <laughs> no bullshit. This nigga walk off the bus with about 60 niggas. No, you know what's funny? I'm there, too. Yeah. I'm there. And the first thing he say to me, yo, you seen tragedy? <laughs> and I said, nah. <laughs> Yo, word. Thank God the that all that shit is squashed. The first thing he said to me was, yo, you seen tragedy in them niggas? I'm looking for them niggas, bleak. I'm like, nah, I ain't seen them niggas. And no, I've been here all day. Them niggas ain't come by here. Them niggas was in my room. <laughs> you, know, you know what's fucked up about that? You're a good that? guy, man. You're a good no, guy. A great, <laughs> but you know what's fucked up about that? After, because that was in the front of the lows. I yeah. walked through the lows. Someone gave me a bullhorn. And I kept, I grabbed the bullhorn. I was like, yo, where is tragedy? Huh? That was your bullhorn? Yeah. Yo. Yo. I was like, where is intelligent hoodlum at? Yo. I was on a, I was a terrible time. And that's times, what threw me way. off when, when, when Mike Geronimo came up to me. Yo, tragedy need to hide in your room. So I'm like, not the nigga who made arrest the president. <laughs> right. That's and my so president. <laughs> what, how did my room? This nigga got the ice cube. He the ice cube ice griller East Coast. Right, right. How the fuck he want to tuck away? Yeah. 
New well, rap game was different. Yeah, the rap game was different. Yeah, the man. rap big game up. was different. Big, 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 big up to those times, man. Big up to those times. Yeah, and big up the trash of me and Traz is not. Yo, it's, it's it's tragedy, man. tragedy was the big I invited him for the Big Daddy Came episode. Uh, something happened um, um, because. Yeah, yeah I, No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yes, yes, yes. Uh, but what happened was Big Daddy Came performed at Queensbridge and he called Traz. And Traz had did a post and I, you know, I called him and I told him I, I felt like he should take it down. And he did. And he listened to me, you know what I mean? Because. <clears throat> Really what it is is a lot of people don't understand like you know Queensbridge throws uh Queensbridge Day uh, like every year right every and, project and it's real every project but it's real it's the city who order who, who, who uh, excuse me highest these people they coordinate everything yeah they right. coordinate it so it's just like rock the bells and all this everyone like you know who's 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 mad at rock the bells and the 50th yeah, yeah. so i had to you know I, I i took it upon myself to explain the trash that that had nothing to do with the actual you know people yeah but when they do Marcy Day do they call you no nah. No. It ain't nothing done by the city. It's done by the hood. Oh, Only my the niggas hood in the hood. Run the Marcy yeah. Day? Yeah, the hood run the Marcy Day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shout out to homie Uptown. Been doing the t-shirts for 35 years, making the Marcy Projects t-shirts. All the homies in there, you know, doing what they do. Mm -hmm. The hood is ran by the hood, man. We do this shit ourselves. Mm -hmm. Ain't no city behind it. Ain't nobody behind it. Right. Marcy it Day... Fort Green Day, Tompkins Day, Roosevelt Day, Sumner Day, all that shit ran by the hood. You ever thought Brooklyn would have a Whole Foods? Nah. I never thought we'd have a basketball team. You got a basketball team? Come Brooklyn, on, Coney Nets, Island baby. got a basketball team. The Nets, Brooklyn Nets. Oh, oh it's about, oh, it's about Jesus, NBA. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking like, I think you're talking about like, team. Yeah, like, Little come League. Come on, man, we here, man. Little League. Yeah. <laughs> we here, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kyrie Irving. Yeah, Kyrie, you know, he on his shit. The earth is flat. Yeah, the earth is flat. Yeah, when you high. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about it? <laughs> no. I, I've been on that private jet. <laughs> I know the earth ain't flat. <laughs> I know that for a fact. <laughs> earth is whatever you want it to be. Blah, yeah. You heard? It's called get money. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> but you, do you think anybody could ever duplicate what Rockefeller did? Of course. It could be done. You think that... I don't think nobody could duplicate what Jay accomplished, but us as a crew, as as what we did in music, it could be done. The ASAP crew was close. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That was my favorite crew. Then ASAP just started getting all that ASAP fashion Rocky. money. Yeah, he started getting all that fashion money. And he fell I mean, back. Cash money. In did retrospect, it. in retrospect, cash let me money just, did it. Let me just let me just rebuke that. We, that was the same um, time. So because I can't when you think right, of the ASAP right. crew, you think of two people. You think of ASAP Ferg and you think of ASAP Rocky. No disrespect to anybody else. Hold on. No disrespect to. Anybody else that's in the ASAP mall, yeah, I do know that they recognize. ASAP but 12, globally, globally, ASAP Rocky. But when you think of Rockefeller, you think of more than five to six to seven artists. That's not that, true. Yes, you think of Kanye, you think of Bleak, you think of uh, Beanie, you think of Rihanna, you think of Hove, you think of Dame, you think of Biggs, oh, but you Rihanna think of Freeway, wasn't you think of Petey Crack. I'm, I'm, I'm on 10, y'all. But Rihanna wasn't Rockefeller. To, me, to us, he was. She, she was. Rihanna wasn't Rockefeller. He was Rock Nation? She's Def Jam. Def Jam, yeah, direct. She's not. She was not no. Rockefeller at all. Not management. I did marketing. Yes. I did okay, the, to us, like if you won't violate the management, you won't violate it. Yeah, but she was at the end of Rockefeller. Her and Tiara Marie, they came at when it was over already. Like they was the new. Some would say that's the new, the new Rockefeller. Yeah, though. Neo and all of them. Yeah. Then you got to credit all of them. That's yeah. the new wave of what built. Neo Rock ain't Nation. giving Petey Crack a record back. Neo Yo, got Petey Cracker record. <laughs> Yo, chill. Then when it came time, he never gave Petey Cracker no, a record, man. Neo, Yo, you a chill. foul nigga out here. Yo, that's some bullshit. He can still do right by, by Petey Cracker. Now, I've been trying to promote this that's some second bullshit. record right Yo, now. Crack, get your Get your, get your fucking record get back. Your, get your hook. record, man. Get your hook, Crack. Uh, uh, yeah, he, uh, he out here finger popping everything. Go Yo, ahead. chill, chill, <laughs> chill, chill. <laughs> Yo. You heard what he said? He said some shit. They got it all on his ass. Neo? Who? He said Neo shit. went like, in like that? Like, yeah, he was like, I don't be feeling like they should be parents. Some shit. Mm -hmm. They got on his ass. Damn, Neo. Mm -hmm. Neo, I don't know. He was on but you like Neo, too. You don't take off your hat. I'm, I'm, my shit cool, nigga. Oh, oh yo, bleak, take off your hat! <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, I, ain't, yeah. I ain't hiding the motherfucking bean sprout now. Don't get it twisted. I'm hiding the bean, but right. not, I just love the hats, man. I love the way it look. It ain't nothing wrong with my with my bean. Yo. So you anti just for men like EFN? <laughs> no, I just shave. I got a couple grays. Yeah, I love my grays. That's the wisdom in there, baby. I, I said a couple it. grays. 
That's the wisdom, huh? man. I love it, man. Listen, you my barber used to be hating me. He's be cutting you my hair like you got, that. You said you got that Beijing on. I just told oh, my son, though. You said you got Beijing one time. I've been thinking about it. I just I told him. You, you said you got it, and you ain't feel right. Oh, I did it in Puerto Rico. No, yeah. no, I did, no, I didn't. And you got the designs. He got the designs. No, it's not it. Yo. No, let me Yo. tell you what happened. He got Hector Laveau on his head. In Puerto Rico, <laughs> this is what happened. I'm sitting there, the barber, I see him going with the paint thing. Yo, chill. The paint. And I, sc- I did not say nothing. <laughs> Yo, chill. You let him spray paint you up? No, he painted me. Pepe Le Pew. No, <laughs> like chill, this. This man. You know what's fucked up about that. it? He went like this. Like, um, the, the last jacket up yeah. and down. What was the No, no that, that's Karate That's Karate Kid. Kid. Karate Kid. Kid. Wax on, wax on. Wax on, yeah. He waxed on. Oh, yeah. Yo, nah. I just told my son these grades is cool, but they ain't ready for granddaddy days. Yeah. Chill out. Listen, I didn't think he was gonna be this white, so just Blink. mind you. I'm gonna be honest. We had a lot of people on this show. French Montana, a little bit of drip. Drip? Yo, oh, chill. It's just a little bit of drip. DJ Collin. Oh, do you're it. talking about the, the inkwell. DJ Collin. I would never. I would never, man. Me, a don't worry. Bit. Don't worry. A little me, a little bit. If God want this shit to be fucked up, it's fucked up, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm cool, man. I'm with God's design. Right. Like, That's what I said. He's fucking... <laughs> EFM be in the mirror every night thinking about it. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm nah, on, hell nah, I'm on God's design, that shit. man. I'm cool. How ridiculous I'm not, would that be? I'm, I'm cool. I ain't changing nothing that ain't supposed to be there, baby. It's grays for a reason. So when you walk down the aisle, you're not going to do it up? Nah. What the fuck is wrong with you? You going out there Santa Claus? Yeah. All right, fuck it. The fuck am I going to do now? I'm going I'm to diet now? No, but you I do a weekly with... show with a white ass beard. I'm gonna die it now. Yo, I don't know. Wifey might want it beige. Nah, if she if, then she wouldn't be wifey. Yo, I don't know. <laughs> and by the way, you gotta let Ice T perform at your wedding. <laughs> yeah, that'd be dope. He, him I mean, just do cop killer. <laughs> my, my wife would love yo, it. Yo, she walked out of come LA, so she love it. it. Yo, you walk out the cop killer, you are legend. <laughs> and your wedding, you walk out the cop killer. <laughs> Or colors? Not colors. I am a nightmare walking. <laughs> psychopath talking. Uh, you walk out the colors yeah. for your wedding? You a psychopath. By the way, don't let me listen to this man. No, no, don't do it. Do don't not do it. listen to this no. man. I'm gonna be honest. But I, 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 gotta like take a piss. I gotta take a piss. When when Super Thug first came out, this is before fan, you know, mail and all that. They send us VCR tapes of people getting married to Super Thug. I wanted to pay for everyone's wedding because I ruined their wedding. They was coming out. What, yo, what, what? And they just, doing shit. And I'm like, I'm not coming out to that. What yo, the fuck are you doing? Yo, Man, I ruined people's wedding. I have one question about Super Thug. Okay, what's up? What was thugged out about a cock of Spaniel? I'm going to hit you right now. Oh, somebody, <laughs> and somebody else asked him. <laughs> Didn't you go on the road with him? It, no, no, we ain't never do a tour. Nah. Nah. Me and Nori never, nope. But that we did show a couple that he's shows about- in London. We did a couple shows in London and shit. So tell us some stories about those London shows. Like we did uh Tim Westwood, went up there freestyle for Shout my out man. Tim, Tim Westwood, man. Out there in London, man. Fuck it with Dame. That's the first time I ever seen a glass house. Like literally. You walk not, in not, the house. Not Dame, a greenhouse, a glass no, house. Glass house. Dame had a house in London, bro. No bullshit. Oh, it was Dame's crib? Yeah, I don't give a fuck if you taking a shit. Niggas see your ass. Tud, the toilet was glass. That's like, wild. You look through the floors all the way up, all the way everywhere. Glass, everything. Like, what the fuck type of shit is this? Yeah, it was different, man. Dame was on some other shit. He used to have fly shit. And that was the joint that you, when you guys went to London? Yeah, when Minori. we went to London, yeah. Was that we, your first time in London? No, no, no. I've been to London plenty of times. What was your first overseas experience? Like when you first went overseas and you saw that you had fans overseas. Was Germany was my first trip overseas. Germany. Dusseldorf? Uh, that's no, his favorite place to I That's think, the only place he ever named. I in think Germany. we was at Berlin. Berlin. Germans Frankfurt, are Frankfurt. Hamburger. <laughs> Hamburger, hamburger, we talking about. Hamburger. I don't think they call it Yo, hamburger though. Yeah. Uh, well, we I was did. In, I was in uh, Berlin. My first time, my first trip overseas was Berlin, and I remember my manager B High. He gave me some words of advice, man. And I'm gonna give this to every artist out there. in any part of the world that you travel to. Listen, Where like my manager said. Where no is matter, good, good advice for everybody. <laughs> no matter what genre of music you in, is drugs involved. Whether it's rock and roll, R&B, rap, 
It's okay. drugs. Christian gospel? Christian, everybody. Everybody doing some type of drugs. Yo, no, real talk. It's drugs. Drugs. music, that. right? In that world. So I remember I was in Germany stressed, like, yo, damn, ain't no weed out, ain't nothing. And my manager was like, yo, anywhere they sell music, they sell drugs. Right. Just find a, find a place where they sell mixtapes at. So I remember moving around Germany. I Google. This, yeah, this Google was out because I remember Googling like where mixtapes and I went to an underground mixtape spot. I bought a clue tape and like about $100 worth of weed. I asked the dude, yo, you got weed? He was like, hell yeah. And they got 20s in the music shop in Germany. Mm. That's when I knew like, damn, you right. Music <laughs> involves drugs, man. We fucking drug addicts. Right. <laughs> if you could change anything about this whole journey, what would you change or, or make better? In terms of what? Physical? Because if I could be it, I'd be, I have the 50 cent body. What's up? <laughs> I don't think you he meant that, though. Like, that's what I'm saying. What you want I'm me to say? I'm with the answer, though. <laughs> like, yeah, you want me to yeah. come out or some Ja Rule shit? What up, me? What up, my baby? <laughs> Fuck it. You kidding me? I used to hate Ja Rule running out there ripping off his shirt. Fucking bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck what's wrong with you? Let me load, load, load me six muscles. <laughs> load me six muscles for my next show. I'll bring them back. <laughs> I can't you. So is that it? <laughs> Just the physical? No, movement? but I'll ask it. Like, wait, what matter? What, what, else? what else? What else would you yeah, change? Besides the physical. Yeah, but yeah the like in terms of what? Be specific, bro. Uh, like records you picked, uh, decisions you made. Oh man, if I could go back, y'all niggas don't know this. I never told this story. I turned down Drumline like a see package. Wait, me you up. supposed the to be Nick Cannon? Yeah, the movie. Nah. Yeah, I turned it down. You were supposed to be the lead in the movie. Yeah, he wanted me to do it and everything, and Chris I was Robinson. scared. Yep, I was scared. Scared Wait, to hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all, 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 y'all over there, y'all over there, please, please, please. Hold on, yeah. so you telling me Nick, Chris Robinson called you for Drumline. Yes. You were supposed to be the main character. Yes. Holy. And he wanted to put me in acting school and all that, and I was afraid. Yeah, they were going to invest in you that much. I was afraid, because when I read the script, it was a drummer, and I was afraid. Remember, I just, my career had just started working, and I'm saying to myself, all right, I do this movie as a drummer, and then it don't work. I'm going to go back to the hood and tell niggas we out here getting this money. We real niggas. You know, Nick wanted to be. And you know what's so ill about Nick? Me and Nick had the same management. My manager, B. High, used to manage him too. And my man, rest in peace, Klepto, used to be in the studio with Nick. Because Nick wanted Not to be Klepto a rapper. Not Klepto from GM Mafia. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no Nick, yeah, Nick was a rapper. He wanted okay. to be a yeah. rapper. And you know, my man, Klepto, used to be in the studio helping him with his rap. So Nick used to be in Marcy with me back in the day. Whoa. Word, and Nick took the role. And, you know, here we are. He do what he did, but that's one thing. If I could rewind time, I would have did that because I banked. I was on some, man, I'd rather do this rap shit. Almost like how Ja did with the Fast and Fast Furious and Fury. shit. He like, fucked up about that. I, I super fucked up with that, but yeah. Hov was mad at me. I remember Hov was super stinked at me. Like, why you ain't do it? And I'm telling him, and I remember telling him, yo, bro, I was scared, bro. I never act. like, And the dude, like, I got act. Niggas do, like, think. You give DMX his first movie, he do fucking belly. It's easy to yeah, act yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, you to fucking be yourself. Kidding. To be you yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To do something I never did, right. be a drummer, go to college, do all this shit. Like, I mean, I was scared. And I remember Hov, he paid for acting classes for me. And After I never, that? Yeah. But it's ill the day the, the actual director wanted to he wanted pay for me, you to go to acting class. Me specifically for that role. It was like, I paid for acting classes and all that. And I turned it down. It was like, Fuck, yeah, you definitely no. fucked In retrospect, you regret it? Hell yeah. He, okay. He's just said here. Okay. Hell yeah, bro. You I regret me? it for you. Like, uh. you know, rap was everything to me then. Like, hip hop, it saved my life. So I didn't want to jeopardize that. No, that you know, I didn't want to make any. Like, if you ask me, <laughs> and this is, I love sticky figures. This is my fucking guy. I love him. I see him in the street. I give him hugs. I fucking love him. Right. But if you ask me, Friday fucked him up. Oh, oh yeah, because oh, yeah. um, he played Debo's little man. You know what I mean? Like and, Debo and slapped prior him to that, people was actually scared of Sticky. And wasn't he in? No, was but he in it, was, it, was, it, was also, he in it was also the boxing movie. But what that movie came the after? Yeah. That, that came after, after Friday. Oh, it was I didn't another know that. series, that came, the HBO series or something. The boxing shit that happened with the dude with the blonde hair that came after no, the, the, the Friday shit, bro. But that. That hindered his rap career. It was no coming back after playing that role. And I feel like certain roles that certain people take is just Unless no he would have followed up with another role real quick. Yes. That's, that's what something. makes the difference. Yes. Right. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, in retrospect, like, 
That's what I thought would happen to me, and I ain't want to gamble on. I ain't want to take that bet. If somebody calls you for a, 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 t- a reenact, a, um, a reappearing seasoned role right now, what would you fit in? Any it, it, prior season anything. or back then? I could play uh, anything today. Sopranos. I could play anything today. Me any role because in the wild, could you I, play a crackhead? I could play a crackhead. I could play anything, bro, because I don't have no bias to anything. Like I said, back then, all I knew and all I cared about was music and Rockefeller. Mm. Anything outside of that was like distraction noise to it me. Was big Face Gary. You know what I mean? Yeah, like big I, up, I, big face, I, right? I lived in Black Rockefeller, bro, and that was it. I put all my eggs, all my marbles in that. Right. And that was it. And I, ne- and I didn't want to take the gamble or try anything else. Because, like, it ain't like today where these kids could branch out and you got on kind of endorsement deals. These brands were scared to touch us or get involved with us right. back then. You fucking right. kidding me? Sprite ain't winning. Right. Sprite, do a commercial with us back then, Nori? Right. Get the fuck out right. of here. You kidding me? Mm-hmm. Like, today is different, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was a big deal. So, if state property, I mean, no, not state property. If Rockefeller was the battle as a crew versus who would you want to battle? Within themselves? No, against someone else. Uh, anybody? Cash money? Oh, Fucking. What's what's Outcast? Dungeon, Dungeon family. Dungeon family. Anybody? But Hove got to bring all those freestyle verses from all the shows. He got to bring a mill back. He got to no, bring. What, what, what's she gonna spit? Dungeon family's gonna be. A mill. Uh, what's she gonna spit? Come a on, no, add on. on. Yo, you trying no, to? He's a, a you really? Yo, no, I like a mill. Nah, I'm with you. I'm with Listen, you. I'm a I love oh. a mill, but what is she gonna spit? Huh? You want to tie her to the train tracks? You no. trying to drive the I train? I feel like she can still come outside. I think you the one throwing the coal in and the local And she should come motor. outside. I feel like uh, just me. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Yeah. What is she gonna spit? I, I, I was listening to a lot of tracks, and she's like, she's still Ooh. going in to me. Eh, it's cool. When Mill had her run, she had her time. You know, she gave it up for her but, family. But if you was to bring them out, you got to bring out Terriera Marie, Emil. They wasn't part of bring out Stop Christian. Bring out that. Let's bring out Christian. 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 They was part of Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah. Bring out Christian. <laughs> them niggas had S Curls. Let's be real. Let's be real. S Curls was lit. You had S Curl at one point. That's why you bored now. Let's keep it real. Come on. Yo, chill. You had ass curl. You look like you had ass curl. I have no from fucking ass curls. <laughs> from Albi Square Mall. Come on. Nah, I have no ass curls. You know, I tried a lot of shit. I have no ass curls. Mm. Hell no, that was in my era. Yeah. That was the Soul Glow era. Soul Glow. The word yeah, about, yeah, that wasn't yeah. my era. Yo, Bleak, man, you such a legend, man. Um, <laughs> um, I really, really respect your loyalty, man. Appreciate really respect, you, bro. Um, just you are exactly who you are. Like you, it's no faking, it's no fronting with you. Uh, me and you co- talk all the time. Um, big up your food chasers, people. That's oh, what, yo, what yo, yo, up? man. Shout out my peoples, the food chasers in Philly. Uh-huh. I fucking love them. If you haven't stopped by their restaurant, make sure you check it out. They on the gram, Twitter, by the food chasers. I swear to God, their hands been blessed by the angels of fucking God. Mm. They, bro, everything they make is just heavenly. It's right. just like the best. They just came to the last show we just did. I just did with me and Beans. I shout out Ice T for the Art of Rap show we just had yes. in Philly. You, they, uh, Beans, and on Freeway. Freeway. Yeah. You know what I mean? They came out, made some cheesesteaks for us, salmon cheesesteaks. I've been dying to bring you to the salmon restaurant. Salmon cheesesteaks. That's crazy. I'm different, yes. bro. Yes. Because I don't different. eat cheesesteaks. I eat um, oh, bro. chicken cheese. Listen. <laughs> yeah. Different, bro. Listen. Yeah. They the best, bro. They do the Douce wings, the Douce. Douce. Uh, the Douce Banana Foster French Toast. Ooh. Fucking the... Bro, they, they go in, bro. It's, it's a, it's, they got Jalen Hurts on their side. You know I'm a New Yorker. I'm a Giants all day. But they definitely got the Eagles quarterback, Jalen Hurts. You know, he he mm. definitely a big supporter of the restaurant. Right. And That's black moving. owned. Yeah, black owned. Two sisters, in, you know what I mean? In Philadelphia. That's right. So. Okay. Yeah, man. Yo, I got to get y'all to fuck with my, you know... Next October, I say this October, we're going to have the new strand. Like I told you, I got the bu- right. the bud. Mine right is the brand. Mine right. Cookie butter, cherry butter, lemon butter. Mm. We the butter out here, you know what I mean? That's the brands. We got the stores jumping off. We got, 
No partner with my partner Jason, Joe Side, and I'm out in Arizona. Uh -huh. Got the store called Story. So everybody got a story to tell. You need to go to Story, get your mind right. It's 12 stores in Arizona, five in Maryland, three opening up in Jersey. And you can go in there and get your mind right by October, baby. We'll be had that had that brand on the shelf. Need a card? Or nah, no? you don't need no card. So in Arizona. Wreck. Wow. All right. Arizona, yep. Maryland, New Jersey, Chicago, Atlanta next. We moving, baby. Atlanta's going to be wrecked next? Yeah, Atlanta's next, man. It's coming. You heard it first right here. Blizzle. Okay. We license gang over here. And, and That's Miami what I am. License gang. If you want to yeah. put a gang or something, yeah. like, like license gang. gang. <laughs> Yo, Bleak, man. Once again, man, I can't thank you enough, man. Um, You're really a legend. You're really a real dude. You're really one of the most loyalist people I know. You stand Appreciate by your you, crew. I, I, let me, uh, just for people who, who don't understand, like, I really, really speak to Bleak for, for Word every out. other we week. We talk all the time. Word. And, let, let me just tell you how loyal Bleak is. I was just playing with beans. I really didn't really, really want to... Um, you know, really engage. But when once I called Beans, you know, he, I mean, so once I called Bleak, he was like, "You know, I'm Rockefeller, right?" And I was just like, <laughs> I, I respected his his decision Dude. so much as my friend. He was just like, "You know, you know, like he like Rockefeller is Rockefeller. Like Word you will up. not go against Rockefeller." Nah, hell no, and man. I, I, by the way, I loved it. Nah, I appreciate I loved that. It. And bro. I called Beans immediately. I said, "Yo, Beans, just so you know." Like I'm just trying to like get us some both some bread, but then when I realized, uh, um, you know, I, I'll get to that later. But when I realized really what it, what it was, mm -hmm. but um, I do want to see you uh go against uh, somebody in verses because I'm gonna tell you why. Something that I experienced with you, like I, we performed in London, you keep going, your hits <laughs> keep going, and a yeah. lot of people don't understand yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. don't understand your catalog. They forget, you know, yeah. they forget the records that I was on or I was a part of. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I love it, man. We got a lot of records, man. Rockefeller, we made history, and I, I just was, I'm just happy to be a part of it, man. Right. You know that Jay, he could have chose anybody out the projects or right. anybody in the it world. Been Shaheen. But yeah, and he and he chose me. It, you know it what I'm saying? Been Shaheen. Yeah, yeah, like, and he chose me, so I'm always grateful to that. I always tell Jay, nigga, you gave me a tab that I could never repay. No matter what I do, I feel like I could never repay you. Like, right. how do you pay a tab of somebody changing your life? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 